Good morning. Now, before I start, if you're going out later on, obviously you're not going out till after I finish, but if you're going out later on, please be careful. In, around our area in the Midlands, right, the roads were so flooded this morning. You know those great big puddles? You think, oh, it'd be fun to splash through those. It's not, not fun to splash through them. They're deep and they're going right up. So please, please, please be careful. But for the next four hours, snuggle up, watch us. We've got a fabulous show lined up for you. Would you like to see today's menu? Here it is, coming up today on Sewing Quarter. Eight o'clock, let's start quilting. Everything you want, if, if you want to start quilting, like we've got Quilt As You Go, we've got books about how to learn, we've got fabrics, we've got pre-cuts, we've got all sorts of stuff. That's just me all on my own some in the first hour. Then of course Lucy's here at nine o'clock doing a gorgeous Lucy's Bear Pillow, which I'll show you in a section, in a moment. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got the EPP selection. That's me on my own with some gorgeous, gorgeous um, templates and bits of cardboard and then fabrics and things like that. And then 11 o'clock, Cross Steps Quilt with Lucy at 11 a.m. Right, before I go any further, I'm just going to show you very quickly. This is the teddy bear cushion. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, it's taken from a brand spanking new book. How cute is that? So Lucy's going to be here to show us how to make that. Um, she's making hers out of Liberty Fabrics. I love you know. And then at 11 o'clock, Lucy's other show at 11 o'clock is this one. <gasps> this is her, her very own design. Her very own design. We've got a couple of bundles. I think it's three bundles. Three bundles. There it is. There it is on a picture there. Three bundles uh, to make that. One in the colourway that you're seeing there. And then um, a couple of other beautiful, gorgeous colourways. Right. Now, I need to tell you as well, before we go any further, there's a competition going on at the moment. It's called... Oh, it's not there. Design... Uh, birthday Block Bonanza. Design a Block Competition. Right, I need to explain to you, lots of things to explain. What we want is for you to make a block, design it and make it. It's not just drawing it on a piece of paper, it's making it. It has to be a finished 12 inch, so when, obviously, you know this, I'm not trying to teach my grandmother to suck eggs, but obviously it needs to be a 12 and a half block so that when we sew it together, the finished size is a 12. It needs to be in by the 20th of this month, because it's for our birthday, which is the 31st this month. So it needs to be in here. The address and everything is on the terms and conditions. Uh, you might have got an email. I got an email in the middle of the night telling me about it. With all the information you need to know. There are winners, there will be winners. Winners will, I think it's three winners will win uh, fabric bundles. And uh, we will make them into a quilt, or quilt, sir, to show you later on in the year. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? But do go to the website to look at all the terms and conditions. We can't send them back. It's like Blue Peter. We cannot send the, the original samples back because obviously they'll be in a quilt. But it's a fantastic idea. Fab and also, by the birthday, fingers crossed, we'll have the one that we... Remember, we all made blocks months and months ago. I'm sure... Um, I think Hayley's making, it actually. It could be made for the birthday week show because we're... We're a year older than 31st January if you're new to us. Uh, right, now, if you are new to us, you won't know how to get in touch because we love, 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 love hearing from you. Uh, the best way to do that is go to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. What you do is you click on Watch the Show Live. There you go. Watch today's show. Now, you do have to log in to be able to message the studio. Uh, what you see, you see the, the square there. It says message of the studio. You can write a message there. Now, at your end, you can type as much as you like, but at our end, it cuts you off after about 140 letters. Uh, your messages will go through to producer Hannah upstairs, and she will then send them to my tablet down here on the desk. While we're on that page, see where it says, oh, where it's a very blank page there. Am I a bit late today? Products from today's show. Uh, all of yesterday's have disappeared. Uh, so what will happen is today when I show you quilt as you goes or fabrics or bundles, they will appear there. You can click on them, put them in your basket. Or you see on the right-hand side there where it says add to basket. When I'm doing a, an auction, the item that I'm showing you will appear to the right of me there. You can click on it and add it to your basket. Now, talking about your basket, you can check out as many times as you like during the day. We will only charge one post and packaging of £2.95. So you go to your basket, you can check out. Like if you see something in the 8 o'clock hour that you love, check out. Then you see something in the 9 o'clock hour, you can check out and you will still only pay one P&P &P of £2.95. Now, I just need to warn you, we are still pl playing a little bit of catch-up at the moment because our winter sale was so enormously successful that it might take a couple of days extra. Now, I'm only, it might, I'm saying it might, and I'm only saying that because I want to be upfront and honest with you and I don't want you sitting at home going, because I, I told you about Hannah, didn't I? She ordered something and she's going, look, John, look, John, I haven't got it yet. Not from here, from somewhere else, right? And uh, it was Christmas, I said, it's Hannah, it's Christmas Day. That's why it's not it's Christmas Day. Anyway, I think that's all. Oh, no, no, if you want to send any pictures, we love getting your pictures, or a longer email if you've got a question or something like that. 
we do have a, an email address that comes straight through to us here. It is studio at sewingquarter.com. Studio at sewingquarter.com. Right, I've covered everything. That's all the housekeeping, isn't it? Is that everything, Hannah? Yeah, oh, she's on delay reaction today. Right, okay then. <clears throat> let's get on with some quilting. It's called a let's start quilting. So I'm gonna start. Now, I'm gonna start with, I don't know why I'm doing this a lot today. I'll stop doing that now. I'll have my hands here. Um, we're gonna start with uh, quilt as you go. Now, obviously it's a different way of quilting, but it's a really brilliant way to get a feel of it. So if I just show you, i push those one. Oh, Alison Glass. Right, where do you want me to start then, Hannah? Okay, let's start with this one. This one is called Paris on Point. Now, this is one we've made already. Oops. Right? And it just looks like a quilted table runner or bed runner or whatever. What quilt as you go? I'm sure you already know, but if you're new to quilting and you're thinking, do you know what? New year, new me. I'm going to start some quilting, right? This is different. Let me just show you. This is, this is the bundle, first of all. This is what you get. It's a quilt as you go bundle. Now, this is 11 .99. This is 80% uh, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. This is the, uh, the, the wadding that goes in the middle. Now, what it is, is when you open it, you have... Now, this is only two. Obviously, you've got six of these, and they're all joined together. Now, I'm not sure if you can see them. Oh, yes, you're bound to be able to see that, the lines on there. What you do is each of these makes a 12-inch block. That's your finished block size. It looks bigger than 12. That's a 12-inch block, right? What you do is you slice them up. You cut that down the middle there. Someone's taken my scissors, but you slice that, so pretend that's there like that. So you pretend that's one layer. Now, the solid lines are placement lines. Inside the packet, I'm sure there's one that I ripped open the other day. Right, inside, this one's a different one, but inside you get a whole sheet of, don't do a close-up of this, because that's, that's from a different bundle, but you do get a whole lot of, um, there are lots of, there's lots and lots of videos on, on YouTube and other places to go and look. So what you do is you get this. So this is one block. So that's one of these. That's one of these, right? And the lines that are on here are placement lines. It tells you all of this in instructions. <clears throat> so, so it tells you what size fabric to cut out. So of course you cut out and you place number one and it just sits right side up on there. What you've done is you put your backing fabric behind straight away. So you've got a layer of your backing fabric, your wadding, and then the fabric that you're gonna stitch on the top. So this is your placement line. So you put a square in there. Then you just follow the number. So number two is here, right? So you've already cut the piece number two. You lay it that way down. You stitch a quarter of an inch inside the line. Then you fold it back and that then will go to that line there. And then you do number three the same. So you stitch on there, fold it back. Now, what I suggest you do with quilt as you go is you must iron all your fabrics first because you don't want to be ironing this all the time. Do you know what happens when you iron batting too many times? I've got some um, best press, which I'll show you in a minute. That's a good way of keeping your fabric pristine. So you literally carry on until you've done the whole block. And then by then, all of this will be covered. So what you can either do is you can do it like this. It's, it's all... Um, little sashing in between. You've got sashing in between. So you can either make six separate, if you want to make six um, placemats, you make six placemats like this, or you might be wanting to make uh, individual wall hangings or something like that. Or you can stitch together by sashing them together. It tells you how to do all of that in the instructions. Uh, and also, if you're thinking, oh, that's lovely, John, but I'd like to make a quilt for my bed, you can buy three packets, can't you? Because each one has got six in it. So the finished size, if you put it together as a quilt, the finish size for this one is, uh, I've got the right one here yet, yeah. um, Paris on point, should have, oh, here you go, 24 by 36 is your finish size if you choose, just use one packet. Now, this one, this one, this block here is ideal for charm squares, pre-cut strips, or pre-cut squares. But then, obviously, you need some fabric to your sashing and your binding and everything like that. So that's Paris on point. That's nice, isn't it? You see? you see, let me just show you the back as well, if you've not seen this before. So it's called Quilt As You Go, because obviously as you stitch through the layers, it's gonna be, you're gonna see it on the back there, because that's gonna be quilting on the back there. Okay, so that's Paris on point. <coughs> I do apologize. I had um, this porridge this morning, gluten-free, dairy-free, milk-free, everything-free, taste-free. Um, and it had little bits of apple in it. I think one little bit of apple's got stuck at the back of my throat. Right. 
Mosaic magic. Did you? Oh, now uh, our floor person. Did you find this today? Did you find it for us or not? We've definitely made this one in the past. Mosaic magic. Now this one's eight ninety nine. This one's all polyester. This one. Now, if you have a look at the, you see, you can see the block here. Oops. Same finish size, 24 by 36, because obviously they're 12 inch blocks finished, aren't they? But you can lay them differently if you want. There's different ideas of how to lay them. Also, this one looks very different, the different fabrics you use, because either on that one you see how the uh, link is really standing out. But if you use, <coughs> excuse me, different fabrics, then one of the other uh, sections will stand out more. Now that obviously is a 12, that's a 12 block quilt there and there. You only get six, you only get six in a packet. So that one and that one are two blocks, two blocks. But as you can see, that's the same. And you see how it looks completely different just by choosing different fabrics. So that's two packets. Obviously in here, you can see here, watch the video, it's easy to follow there on YouTube. And then again, the instructions, oops, where am I? The instructions down here, the placement lines, putting it on. Oh, now, 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 I've got to point something out. If it has a dotted line, right, I'll just show you this one here. Right, I'll just do it like that. Now, on this one, you see how you've got number one, has got all four squ squalid, solid lines around it, but number two has a flying geese, and number three has a flying geese on it. What you have to do is you have to make that section up so these are already pre-stitched before you put it on. So, that one is the centre thing there. Number two is the whole of this, and number three is the whole of that. So you have to make the flying geese unit before... It tells you in the instructions how to do it. Then, of course, you do four and five, which are just straightforward pieces. Then again, six and seven, you've made the whole of that strip and the whole of that strip before you stitch it to the wadding. So that's what the dotted, line mean, not dotted lines mean. But as I say, each one comes with instructions. Each one does come with full instructions. And when I go to the next one, I'll show you the instructions because I've actually got those. So that one's Mosaic, uh, mosaic Magic. Do you want one more look at it before I go? 8.99. So remember, these are 12 blocks. So you'd need two packets to make that effect there because you get six in a packet. OK? Now I'm going to move on to this one which is um, London Labyrinth, right? Now, this is... Oh, oh just, to, just in case I forget, John, this is London... <laughs> this, is, this is London Labyrinth. Um, I'll just show you one... I'll just show you one block. You see, now, Hannah's thinking cushion covers. Hannah's thinking cushion covers for this one. Right, now, I can open this one out, London Labyrinth. So, in the packet... You obviously get the, that, the label there. Then, this is what you get. Now, this one's a cotton poly wadding again. This is the whole, whole thing, you see. So you get six blocks. You get six blocks. <coughs> so what you do is you cut each of those between each of the blocks. So you cut along here. Did you not find it, the, the uh, London Labyrinth one? And then down there. And then it means you're just working on a 12-inch square. Until you start putting them together, the actual quilting, you're just working on a 12-inch square. You put the fabric behind, your, ba your, your background fabric behind, you put this down, and then this one's lovely. Now, this one, you can make the whole of this one with design rolls, couldn't you? Because if you look, they're all the size of a design roll. So you can, you can make the whole of this with the design roll, couldn't you? Oh, hang on, I've just got to re-log in, because my... Um... No, here we go. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, done, I'm done, I'm done. So that's your basic block there. And it goes up to uh, 17, this one. It's a funny, oh yeah, because they've got a center one in the middle there. And then this is obviously what the finished thing looks like. So I've got design rolls, and I've got jelly rolls coming up later in the show. So you can see that. It's lovely, isn't it? We don't do this fabric anymore, or this. But it just shows you how they can look different, doesn't it? Oh, uh, Marcia, good morning, lovely John. So excited, I'm starting my block after breakfast. Oh, Marcia, oh, I bet Marcia will be lovely. That's the competition block. Margaret's emailed in. Lovely to have you back, thank you. Oh, Margaret, you're a darling. She says, you're explaining could you go really well. It makes it really easy. Well, it's not me, it's the, I've just read the instructions, look. Oh, Pauline. Do you want patchway applique or other methods of block making? Uh, Pauline, you can do whatever you like. As long as it's a finished 12-inch block, it's your design, 
and uh, you've got your, your 12, you make it 12 and a half so we can set together with all the others. You can do what you like on it. You can do what you like. Right, but it's got to be in by the 20th. It's got to be in by the 20th, otherwise, what do they say? It will still be, ca oh no, it can't be, because that's what they say, you still charge for it, we won't charge for it. These are all the instructions you get in. Now this one's that one, the L London Labyrinth. Now what I suggest you do, is you see this bit in the corner here, photocopy that bit and colour it into the fabrics that you're going to use. Then you, because there's going to be nothing worse, isn't there, if you get to number 14, 15, 16 and 17 and go, oh, don't like number four. Do you know what I mean? So colour it in, that's what I would do. Then down here, it tells you exactly what you have to cut from each of the fabrics, or what you need for all, what you need fabric-wise. Then you carry on down, I'll move it rather than you move the camera. Then you see there, that's if you cut from jelly rolls, you see. That one's if you cut from um, fabrics. And then it's got all the instructions, look, I'll just twist it over. All the instructions you need to create your block, even down to the sashing look and attaching together. £11.99. Lovely, isn't it? So that's London Labyrinth, um, which you can make with jelly rolls. Well, when we get the jelly rolls out, I'll, keep, I'll talk more about that one then. So that's London Labyrinth, that's London Labyrinth, that's all London Labyrinth. Right, what's this one here? Oh, now, all the ones I've shown you so far, you cut up into 12 inch blocks, you cut them all up. This one, you do the, this one can be put together so quickly, but you do have more bulk with this one. This one's called um, Sophisticated Stripes. Not, I was going to say Savvy, do we do one called Savvy Stripes? So, yeah, we do one called Savvy Stripes, which is the one that um, we made in Tilda once, that they, we used Westerly on. This one is Sophisticated Stripes. That's, now, this is, this is what it looks like when it's finished. But what it is, is you don't cut this one up. It is the same size, bat uh, same size um, finish. I'm sure it is. Let me just double check. Oh, no, this one's bigger. 40 by 50, this one's bigger. 80% uh, uh, cotton, 20% polyester. But what it is on this one, have we not got this one open? Obviously not. Otherwise, I brought it to you, wouldn't I? This one is you literally cut long strips like that, and you stitch them on. You don't cut the batting up, the batting stays in one piece, but once you've, once you've got them cut, you can make it up so quickly. Then, if you want to then um, quilt it, not just in straight lines, but do freehand quilting or westerly ruler quilting. I can't believe I missed Angie again. She's convinced that they're keeping us apart. She keeps writing. I think she's most probably requested it, actually, to be quite honest, because I keep saying, I want to go for it on a, she's, is she in a, husband, Wayne, owned a tugboat, and I'm desperate to go on it. There's nothing to plug in. You can't plug a kettle in or anything, but it looks such fun anyway. Anyway, this one is called Sophisticated Stripes. Now, what you love is you, re you see on a jelly roll, you, on the other one, the one we just saw, the London Labyrinth, you just see little strips, don't you, of each fabric, which is gorgeous, I know, but this one, if you've got favourite fabrics that you want to see a big stripe of, then this one's perfect. This one's absolutely perfect. In fact, in a minute, I'm going to show you some Alice and Glass fabrics. Can you imagine making that up in different coloured Alice and Glass prints? That would it'd be like a rainbow, wouldn't it? I can see that, can see that, love that. 40 by 50, big enough to put on, on Hannah's sofa so she can snuggle up into it on a Sunday morning. Now she went out partying on, was it New Year's Eve? She had a bit too much to drink. She messaged me on, on New Year's Day going, I'm really suffering with my hangover. I was at work, what could I do? Oh, was he? Right, apparently Ginger Mike Pumpkin up says he was suffering as well, but he wasn't suffering with Hannah. Why, where did you go, Ginger Mike? Oh, he stayed in, he stayed in. Right. Yeah, nice. Uh, now, they have all been quilts. We also do rugs, home decor. Same principle, I can take this one out because I don't need to rip the bag, look. This, oh, I'll show you the finished rug. I'll show you the finished rug there. This one, again, you don't cut up into sections. It's a bit like sophisticated strips. You sew different strips on, but instead of it being wadding, now, again, this is 24 by 36. Oh, now you can wash them as well. I didn't know that. Oh, so I'd wash your fabric beforehand. But anyway, look, 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 look. I'll open this one out, look. 
This is a different fabric completely. This isn't wadding. This is like a plasticized mattress cover fab kind of fabric. But it's exactly the same principle. So you place number one, which is this nice width here. Then you sew on number two. You sew on number three. Finger press them down. You put on four, fold over, five, fold over. <laughs> they all think I'm doing the Macarena dance now. Anyway, then what you do is you see at the corners here, you see how you've got those lines that stick out a bit further? That's where you cut it off. At the end of there and the end of there is where you cut it off. So you then do your binding on that end bit there. So I've got, one of the, I've got a couple of these made up. Maybe you want to make it in spectrum solids. Now, um, we've got a new boy in the scheduling department, and he, he doesn't know much, oh, sorry. He doesn't know much about much, really, but he doesn't know much about, so, oh, see, see what I mean? That fits there. That fits there exactly. This was his favourite. This was his favourite, this one. It's nice, very simple. He wants this one to put beside his bed when he gets out in the morning, because he's got um, wooden floor, not wooden floors, um, slate floors, and he wants that on the floor so he doesn't get his little feet cold. OK, he lives in a bungalow. And then, and then I've got this one here that we also made with a pattern just to show you how it can work and how you can do different um, binding on it as well. You see, so you've got that lovely fabric. Now, um, obviously, these three here are spectrum solids. I think that's ochre, fuchsia, and one of the blues. This one we haven't got anymore, the, one, the floral one there. But you could choose. Your, but look, how, look at this. They've created their binding by sewing um, little pieces of the... Um, fabric together. It's nice, isn't it? So that's what you can make. Now, also, they do say it has got a plasticized underneath here. Now, it's not non-slip. It, it, it'll grip a little bit on your floor if you're putting it on flooring or carpet. But please be careful. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm only saying all, all rugs are the same. But I'm just saying, don't think, oh, it's a non-slip rug and you'll be fine. Just treat it like you would any other rug. $15.99. Let's just fold that one up. And again, you don't cut that one up. That one's done as a whole. So you need to, you'll get used to having a lot of um, fabric going through the throat space on your um, sewing machine. Okay. Hannah's just regaling a story upstairs about how she slides across the floor on her rugs. Okay, so that's it, that's it, that's it. You don't need to explain that to her now, Mike, thank you. Um, so, quilted, they're all quilted as you go. Now, how about some fabric? How about some fabric to start with? I've got pre-cuts and I've got um, design rolls and all sorts of things coming up in a minute, but I just said I had to show some of this again. I launched this uh, about three days ago. I was in three days ago. And I was, I was flummoxed by the whole range because I absolutely adore, adore, adore this new Alison Glass range. I've only got a few of them here. The rest of them are all on the website, but I've just got a few as a little taster here. Alison Glass designer, designer, designer fabric. Now, do you remember the Alison Glass medallion quilt that we did? And on the back, there was a fabric called Diving Board. And it was just cream with a very, very, like, biscuit liner. It was very, very subtle. Well, this is the same fabric. This is the same fabric in quilting weights, but in different colours. Now, there are actually eight colourways of this on the... Oh, no, there's only be seven on the website. There are eight, but there'll only be seven on the website. Um, so I'm just going to show you three now. I'm just going to show you three now. Um, now, if I'm right, I think this one's called Rubelite, but I'll have to wait for Hannah to tell me. It is. This one's called Rubelite. Now, this is by the half metre, remember? And if, if, you knew, if you knew, any fabric you buy off the half metre comes in a box like this, wrapped, it comes in its bag, in a little plastic bag with the code on it, so you know which one it is, then wrapped in tissue paper, then, oh, actually, it doesn't say that on, on the little film that Hannah made, does it? And then it comes in this box, which is really good. Also, remember, if you're a new buyer and you spend over £10 on your first purchase, not including post and packaging, we send you a free present. <clears throat> That's new buyers only, over £10. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Can we switch the aircon off, please? That's blowing straight into my face. £5.99. Oh, no, £5.99. Free, free, they are free, 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 free. Right, now, the other thing you do have to do, which and is Hannah's uh, with Dave. It's the 4th of January, and Hannah said she was going to sort this out, right? If you need more than a metre and a half, you do need to ring the call centre. You do need... It, it, it'll be fixed eventually. Um, 
Yeah, that, 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 Hannah tried to sort it out yesterday and they all just went like that. Oh, shh, Hannah. But basically, at uh, the moment, if you want more... Now, a lady on Facebook said, oh, well, they've never said that on air. I only say it every blooming day, don't they? Every time I'm doing fabric, so... Yes. Anyway, 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 this is Rublite. Have a look at the fabric. Isn't it? There's the mermaid, the pre-Raphaelite mermaid. And if you carry on down there, you can see her tail. I'll move it up. There you go. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's from the sun range, the sun print range. They're all from the sun print range, but this is called Rubelite, this one. I, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pink, this one. Okay, 5.99 for half a metre. Uh, let me waft it, actually. This is a metre. This is obviously a metre that you've got here. Half a metre for £5.99. Thank you. Isn't that gorgeous, Rubelite? Like Shimoya Rubelite, isn't it? <coughs> Anyway, that's the, that's the pink one. We also have it in aqua, but hang on, I won't say aqua because that might not be its real name. Because they've all got beautiful names. That's Rubelite, so I've just folded really badly. There you go. Aquamarine. Oh, that's right, because this was the gemstone range, wasn't it? There's lots of gemstones. This is aquamarine. That suits that fabric, because it's like under the sea, isn't it? Under the sea. With the mermaids and the little... What are those things called like that? Anemones. Do you mean anemones? You know the little... We, we make pin, we make pin um, cushions the same shape. And now I've said that, I can't see them. But there's a gorgeous sunshine, <coughs> excuse me, in the middle of the octopus. Such a beautiful fabric, isn't it? Half a metre, 5.99. Maybe you can ring the call centre, 0800 112 4433, completely for free. Or you can buy on the, uh, on the web, sewingquarter.com, but you do need to log in to be able to buy on the web. OK, moving on. Moving on, moving on, now down to breakfast. Morning Glory, I think this one's called, if I'm right. Am I not? Yep, I don't know why that's got to, because all the rest of the range was all gemstones, and then suddenly we had a morning glory. 5 99 for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. It's like, a, it's like a soft cobalt. Oh, I tell you what, when I, did the, when I launched this on oh, New Year's Day, New Year's Day it was, um, it completely flummoxed me, and Hayley was produced that day. She kept, put a bundle, put a bundle together, and I couldn't because I wanted all of them. I had 21 different fabrics, and I wanted all of them. Okay, it's all about the adventures of a young mermaid, that one. It's all to do with the sunshine. Now, these, this one's called Stars and Moon, or Sun and Moon, I think this one, isn't it? I think that's, well, I won't try and guess the names. I think this one's Iris, and I think that one's Canary. Sun print Iris, and, and we couldn't figure out for a while why it was called Sun print. But if you look at the, you might not be able to see this at home, but the, the polka dots on it, they're suns. Hang on, sun, no, that's a star, that's the star there, that's the sun. It's lovely, isn't it? And then look, the little, the little octopus that is in the other fabric. Isn't it a gorgeous colour? That, that would be a, that's a brilliant as a blender. And then put, wait till you see that the other pattern. The other pattern is absolutely exquisite. The colours are beautiful. Now, the background of this one is very much, you know, the Macawa linen look that we do. That's not linen, hold on a second. It's got that kind of, it's not textured, but it's got that kind of print as the background is a bit like a texture. So that's the iris one. Then I've also got it in the yellow, which I think is canary, but I'll just have to wait and see. It's a bright, bright, oof. I'm hooked at the moment to what's that program, um, buying, when they go to buy a house abroad, what's that called? Place in the sun, winter, winter sun. It's always on when I go to the... Oh, my gym's shut for a week now while they make it all... Well, they're doing it all up. N new machines, new everything. Because it was open all over Christmas for the people who said... Because it's in the hotel, and the hotel's packed over Christmas. They want to keep it open over Christmas. Anyway, this one's Canary. That's very, very gorgeous and bright, isn't it? Now, look, this is a designer fabric for 5 99 for half a metre. It's lovely, isn't it? Really, really gorgeous. Right, moving on. 
What time is it? Oh, plum, it's half past already. Now this, wait till you see this. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six of the seven colors available today. Um, I'll, sh I'll open one. Let me open this one first. This is like the peacock, I think this one's called. Look at the print on it, right? <coughs> this is obviously a meter that I'm showing you, but you're paying 5 99 for half a meter. Hang on, have I got it upside down? Yeah, I have, yeah. Right, um, actually, yeah, I'll show you this first of all, um, because I think, you know Tilly Rose Vintage, she'll use the reverse, lots of people use the reverse of this fabric as well as the right side, yeah. It's got compasses, it's got pirate ships, it's got waves, it's got sundials, it's got sunshine, it's got, it's just gorge, all about traveling, isn't it? And um, getting away from it all. I love it. It's very geometric. It's very um, Leonardo da Vinci. No, hang on, do I mean Leonardo da Vinci? I do mean Leonardo da Vinci, don't I? Not Leonardo DiCaprio, no. I'm sure he could draw it if he wanted to. There's propellers in there, stars. I just think it's lovely, isn't it? So. So now, I'm not sure if this is the best one to see the reverse of, but look. You still get all of the print coming through on the other side. There's, there's one that you can really, really see the ships. The ships really stand out on some of them. That's, that's, that's the back. That's the back. If you just tuned in, you go, ooh, what's that job? That's the back. The back. <gasps> So that one's cool. Do you know what? If you use that in the sophisticated stripes, how beautiful, or the rug, how, mind you, I don't know if I'd want to stand on Alison Glass first thing in the morning. So that one there is Peacock. Now, this one, Jam, was very, very popular on New Year's Day, this one. one in, fact, in fact, that and Morning Glory were two of the most, look, isn't that beautiful? Beautiful purples. Let me show you the look at the back. You see what I mean? You could mix and match both of those if you wanted, couldn't you? Nice, wouldn't it? That's very Tim Holtzy. When you turn it over, it's very Tim Holtzy, isn't it? So same pattern, same pattern, just in a different colour. Aubergine, if you're wondering what kind of colour it is, it's aubergine and pink and navy blue all mixed together in there. It's lovely, isn't it? So that one's jam. Then I've got the dark blue one, which I think is called, blimey my brain, come on, John. Lapis lazuli, well, it's not lapis lazuli, just lapis. Now this one doesn't really have another color involved. They're all blues on this one. So you've got the darker cobalt blue or the lapis blue, the pale blue and the turquoise. Look, you see, isn't it beautiful? And then what Hannah's saying is the diamonds that are superimposed at the top could be your quilting lines if you wanted to. Okay, the next one, I wanted to call the next one le leprechaun, but it's limerick, no. Oh, it's something Irish, isn't it, the green one? Shamrock. Not limerick, not leprechaun, shamrock. I knew it was something to do with Ireland. <coughs> nice, isn't it? Look at that. The green and the blue together. Lovely. Two more to show you in this range. Now, the next one Hannah's going to love because she loves ochres. Lovely, isn't it? Chartreuse, this one. You see, I think Chartreuse is a little bit more green than this. Oh, I know what Hayley was going to do for me on um, New Year's Day, and she never did. Can you look up the name of the Pantone colour of the year? It's like amethyst, but they've given it a spec. It's, it's like, um, it isn't amethyst, but it's a purpley colour. And we were going to do it on, because we had lots of it on um, New Year's Day, and she was going to look it up for me. Chartreuse, that one. Ultraviolet, that's what they've called it, ultraviolet, but it's more of an amethysty colour. That's the colour of the year, 2018. I was only thinking that because I was just looking at this one again. It's this kind of colour. 
that kind of color. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Move that out of the way. Do you know what it's like? It's, it's like the, um, what they've used is, you know our spray, is it called spray time? No. What do we call our, um, spray time, spray time. Anyway, ultraviolet, that's the color of the ear. Like a purpley. Uh, well, the thing is, they show one color, but it's the whole range of the purples this year. And then last but not least is this one. Marmalade. We've had jam, so we might as well have our marmalade. Seville, that'll be Seville orange, won't it, that one? You keep looking at that for a second. <clears throat> right. Uh, Amy from, oh, just, just nearby. Just placed my very first order. I couldn't resist the tulip quilting. I could resist the tulip quilting needles no longer. Uh, nor the whale fabric and the anchor fabrics at that. I don't, oh yeah, have you been buying on the, on the, um, in the winter sale? The winter sale is still there, by the way, on the website if you want it. Well done, Amy, my love. Well done. First purchase. That means you get your scissors. And if you put more than £10, you get your free scissors. Right. I've done everything on this table. So I'm going to go over to that table to talk about three other items. And then when we come back, this item will be a plenty. Right, here we go. Are they ready? Because I'm only going to be over here for a couple of minutes. Right. Cutting boards. These have been so popular. I've got three, I've got three sizes, but I've only got two today. There is an orange one as well, which is smaller, but I thought, because we're doing quilting, we'd go bigger. Let's do the great big one first. Oh, sorry. Oh no, put the pink one in then. Put the pink one in. All right. At £28.95, it is self-healing. It is the Prim Omni Grid cutting about 45 by 60 centimetres, £28 and 99 pence. Inches on one side. Centimeters on the other. You can take that big label off there. That's just the label telling you about it. Uh, now, if you're new to quilting and you and you're, um, use your rotary cutter, you have to have a cutting board, obviously. But even if you just use scissors, I was on pins. If you think if you work on your dining room table, like when I lived in Wimbledon, I used to work on the dining room table. And of course, when I left that house, it was a rented house then. Um, the dining room table had lots of because if you think you're pinning all the time, it's just does little dig every time you put the pin in. There's lots and lots of uh, anyway. I had to pay for it to be re. What do they call it? French enamel varnish. No, that's not right. That's FEV, isn't it? Whatever they do to a table, anyway. Twenty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence for the uh, uh, forty-five by sixty centimetre one. Okay. Now I've got the great big one here. Lovely colour. Not very good. For, don't wear that one next to your skin. Look, wash you out completely. We love this colour though. Again, self-healing. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Look at the size, 60 by 90 centimetres. Now remember, remember, if you buy this and you buy something little, it, or anything else, it's one p p So you know some companies go, well, it will be 2 95 for a mat this big. Oh, but this is much bigger. This will be 4 95 We don't do that. Even if you buy a sewing machine, right? A, a big, lovely sewing machine, 2 95 post packaging, as well as if you buy anything else. So, so 49 99 Self-healing. It's got inches on one side, centimetres on the other. It's got your angle lines on and everything like that. French polish, that's exactly what I meant. Was that Wendy from the office? Oh, Wendy in Lincolnshire, thank you, my love. I do mean... No, isn't that French polish? Isn't that... What's one of those, then, when you have your nails? No, when you have it done clear with a little bit of white at the end. French manicure, not French polish. Anyway, 49 99 now, a lot of people, I'll leave this on the table actually, ask about how we hang our quilts to store them. You see these every day of the week. Every day of the week you see these. Now normally I'm given two loose ones, so I can show you how they work, but today I've just been given two in a packet. Uh, I'll, I'm not, it's fine, it's fine, I'll show you. So if you look at the back there, each one has a hole, you put a screw in the wall and it'll just fit over the screw in the wall, right? Then if you look, I don't know if you can see, oh yes, there you go, look, 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 look. Each one has like a marble or a ball bearing inside it. And what you do is you slide your quilt up in there and then as you, the weight of the quilt pulls down, it, the marble stops it from falling, so it holds it in. Now I like this colour, I'd leave mine this colour, but Paul, Paul is insistent that he paint his. So would Hannah apparently. 
I wouldn't. I'd, because the thing is, you paint it white and, you, and your quilt's black. Oh, there you go. There's some there, look. If your quilt's black, you don't want white thingies, do you? Yeah, but the white walls are fine for the bit at the top, but then you'll have white square. Anyway, it's up to you. It's up to you. I would leave them as natural wood myself. 10.99 they are. Really, really, really good purchase. Right, we're going back now. Right. We love this. Uh, now, a floor haven't left that um, quilt as you go that you wanted them to leave. Just seen it before you go. How gorgeous is that? How gorgeous is that? Right, that's this. That's made from Heather Bailey. That's why, that's why I'm going to open one. And There you go. I'm just seeing if one door you've been open, because you know what jelly rolls like, uh, design rolls like. Once you open it, you can never, ever close it again. Love, 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 love. I had this, this, these fabrics in a fat quarter the other day, in fat quarter bundles, and I just adore. Oh, it's true colours, right? That's exactly what it is. They are the most exquisite colours. I will unravel this in a second, but you get 40. Now, if you're new and you're thinking, what's a design roll? They're all strips of two and a half inches wide. The two and a half inches does not include the pinking shears, so it's from the innermost point there. So you get a taster of the whole range, but in a design roll. Some people call them jelly rolls. Free Spirit call them design rolls. 40 pieces of fabric for 52 pounds and 99 pence. Right, here goes. Oh, now. Just cut my nails, I'll be able to undo the knot. This is just exquisite. And that, that um, quilt behind me is made entirely from this range. Bear with me, I should be with you. What time is it? Oh, 42, I'm all right. Right, so, elastic off. <gasps> Moment of truth. Look at these. Exquisite fabrics. I have to lay some of them out. Now, some of them you will get two of. Love, love, love. In fact, it looks like you get two of everything on this one. All the different patterns in here. Obviously, they've put all the greens together there, but you can mix and match them as you want. Aren't they just beautiful? Look, there's the other green there. Oh, they're going to have fun folding this one up. Then I've got the pinks and the reds here. We love this jelly roll. Look, pink, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Yes, I think, I think I'd like to meet Heather Bailey as well. I mean, we've got Tula Pink coming in. Excited about that. I'd like to meet Heather Bailey as well because I love her colours. Look at the colours, yeah, beautiful. Then we go to the oranges here. Remember, you're getting um, 40 pieces here. Then we've got monochrome. We've got the black and the whites there. Then we've got beautiful blues. Look at the rich, gorgeous blues in there. Look at this one. Now, you can see a theme going on, because you see this colour here, the cactusy one. You get that in green. You get it in blue. You get it in yellow, which is underneath there. Um, you also get it in... Um, Aren't they just exquisite? There's the blues there. And then a natural one there. So you only get, oh no, two of the natural ones. So you get two of everything. So you get 20 different colours. Look, aren't they just beautiful? 40 pieces, 42, and so it's the width of the fabric. So they're 42, 43 inches long. And then the two and a half inches wide. What a way to get a taster of all of her, of her fabrics of this collection. True Colours design roll. £52.90, and that's how it arrives at your house. And that's the quilt made out of it. It's lovely, isn't it? Because you've got the triangles there. Now, they're like flying geese triangles, aren't they? It's lovely, isn't it? And then a big square in the centre. Oh, obviously, that's not from a jelly roll. The one in the middle is not from a design roll. That's beautiful, isn't it, that quilt? Sorry, I'll have enough of that one. Right, okay, so that's your Heather Bailey. 
I'm going to need to tidy that one up just a smidgen. There you go. They won't know in the warehouse, will they? Look, there's, there, there's your design rollback. Yeah, they won't know the difference. That's how yours will arrive. On the picture, right? The picture doesn't do it justice that we just showed you. It looks small on the picture. That's how yours will arrive. I wouldn't want to open it. That'd be the problem. Anyway, that's that one. That's that one. That's that one. Come on, John. Stop being so um, self indulgent Now, this one, this is called this the cave spot. I've not seen this one before. They're all spotty. I've never seen it before. Look, they must have sold out when we had them, first of all, because I've never seen it, and we've got very few in stock. Look, they're all cave facet fabrics, and they're all polka dot, all exactly the same size polka dot. So you go with white and grey, pink, black, purples, blues, oranges, greens, pinks. <gasps> Isn't that lovely? Again, 40 pieces for £52.99. I'll just take you through them again. So we start here with the, the whites and the greys. Aren't they just gorgeous? The yellow one with blue spots on. This one here. She's obviously craving friendship, I think, isn't she? She's got a little paw, what more does she need? I haven't seen little paw for ages, you all right? Oh, they, oh, they went out last night, apparently. Oh, did you make him bring wine? Did you make him bring wine? Oh, normally Paul's not allowed in without a bottle of wine, is he? Anyway, 52 pounds and 99 pence. I've got another design roll here. Oh, now, hang on, where's my, um... We were just saying, weren't we? I should have laid this out, sorry. I'm going back. Rewind, 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 rewind. Because I'm going back to... Sorry, can I go back to Heather Bailey? Only because... Oh, you know what I mean? You can choose by using these where you want your stripes, where you want your colours. You know I mean? You'll only use a tiny bit of the green. You can just lay it all out when you've got your design roll and you can decide on where you want your pieces to go. So that's the Heather Bailey True Colours. And this is a uh, London Labyrinth. Big, beautiful, isn't it? So you just keep laying them out so you can decide where each colour... Do you know what I mean? I think that's gorgeous. Right, OK. Uh, Lisa's got a good idea. Oh, vacuum the top of your jelly roll before opening. <laughs> Saves the snow effect on your sewing table. If you just seen me, I'll keep doing this, try and get rid of it all. That's a good idea. Mind you, don't do what I did. I've got a really lovely kitchen bin, which has got one side for rubbish and one side for recycling. And it, it's a really posh bin, right? And the other day, I could see it was messy, and I was hoovering the floor. I thought, I'll oh, just hoover the top quickly. Like that. Honey, it's highly polished chrome. It's all scratched now. So I'm re every time I walk into the kitchen, I get upset now because my lovely bin's been scratched. Right, let's do this then. This is Amy Butler, isn't it, this one? Amy Butler. Now, we had all these in fat quarters at one point, didn't we? They've all sold out now. Soulmate, 49.99. What's the matter, Ginger Mike? Forty pieces again for forty nine ninety nine. Beautiful, isn't it? Look, blues and pinks. We've got a, a um, actually a sewing machine cover that Lucy made, made out of those fabrics, haven't we? They were made out of the fat quarters, though. But to show off all those prints. I better get a move on because I've only got a couple of minutes left. Right, next, books, fat quarters. Yeah, you're on, you're in, uh, Hannah's already in 10 o'clock. Okay, now I've got three of them here. I thought I only had two. Oh, okay then, right. These always sell. These always sell so well. Wait till you see the price. Which one do you want to go with first? 
rows. Rows, 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 shall I ever see thee wed? I marry that thou wilt, and thou part stay. That's an Elizabethan madrigal. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. You get eight pieces there. White, cream, rose, and then all those different coloured roses along there. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Neapolitan, do you mean? Neapolitan ice cream. Not cosmopolitan. Which one's next? Winterberry. This is the one that I think is... Um, no. No, no, this isn't Robin Hood, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is Robin Hood. I won't go on. Yeah, I did put Peter Pan in the middle of it all. Robin Hood, Maid Marian, Will Scarlet, Sheriff Nottingham, 9 99 Fat quarters, each of them. Now, I need to tell you, I do need to tell you that the, these fabrics, the, in these three bundles here, are finer. Don't be expecting the um, same thickness as a Spectrum or a, or a Moda. They are a much, much finer fabric. Brilliant for backings and things like that. And then last but not least, I've got Iris. Now, we shouldn't have had this one today. That's why I thought we only had two. 9 99 They're lovely, aren't they? Now, I know I haven't, they're the only fat quarters I've done, but I've got a fat quarter quilt book here, traditional fat quarter quilt. Oh, I no, I didn't say that right, did I? Fat quarter quilts. Um, all made from fat quarters. It's lovely. I've got more fat quarters coming up. You might already have some fat quarters. They're very traditional patterns, aren't they? Well, yeah, they're called, they're called traditional fat quarters, though, traditional print um, patterns. But you can make them more contemporary if you wanted by changing the colours. There you go. Nice, isn't it? All you need to know, all the cutting, all the sewing, all the placing, all the techniques, £11.99. Nice. Oh, and there's the author. Hello. She looks my, like my friend Mary. Oh, it's Monique, not Mary, Monique. And then this book always sells really, really, really well, very quickly. How to Quilt. If it's a New Year's resolution to start, this is Techniques and Projects for the Complete Beginner. And again, it's got everything you need to know about your tools, about your fabrics, about sewing bases, hand stitching, machine stitching, quilting basics. So a lot of the book is all about that. And then you go on to techniques and projects like English paper piecing, which is coming up in the um, 10 o'clock hour. Uh, yeah, 10 o'clock hour. Uh, and then what they do is they show you how to, how to do a technique. Oh, sorry. And then they make a project of what to do with that technique. So that's a lavender ball. And then, what, what tip are we, what quilt, what are we on to now? Rag quilting next, rag quilting. Oh, we love that, we love that, we love that. There we've got hand-tied quilting. That's one of Joy's favourites. I said hand-tied. Strip patchwork. Lovely, isn't it? Table mat. Just brilliant, all those projects for a complete beginner there. Ideal gift at 7 99 Rachel Reynolds. Okay, right, you want, okay, fat quarter. So if you do want to start doing a little bit of cave quilting, there's a five piece fat quarter for 21 pounds and 99 pence. It's called Green 2, that one. If you're confused by why there's a 2 there, it's called Green 2. He did three green, three blue, three pink, three, you know, all that. So this is green number 2. £21.99. OK, and then I've got a Moda. Now, this one would be brilliant if you're just going to start. What Moda did was they gave designs. I think it's Kate Spain, this one, isn't it? Not Kate in Spain, Kate Spain. 
They gave all the designers free range of all of their colors and said, put a bundle together that you love that will go with your fabrics. This is a lovely bundle, isn't it? Very, very kind of, um, not, not muted colors, but not vibrant, you know what I mean? Not vivid, they're kind of very good blending colors. You get 12 fat quarters in there for 39 pounds and 99 pence. Nice, aren't they? Gorgeous colours. London Labyrinth, most popular quilt by far. Please check out your basket. If you've already got a design roll or want to get a design roll. Gorgeous, aren't they? That's Lucy making her arrival in the studio from. £11.99. London Labyrinth, could go 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Heather Bailey, we love Heather Bailey. Fact, oh, don't get Lucy started, she adores Heather Bailey. Okay, right, am I done? Oh, 40 seconds still, loads of time. Go, now, if you're new, right, and you think, you know what, have I missed, what have I missed, what have I missed? If you're watching on the web, just look underneath me here, and everything that I've introduced so far is all down there and the web saying, oh, what have I missed? What have I missed? What did he have? It's all listed down there. If it's sold out, it won't be there. So if anything sells out, it disappears from there. So go and have a look, go and have a look down there and you can see, right, coming up next is Lucy making, oh, well, I showed you at the beginning, didn't I? I've got a picture of it there, Michael. This really beautiful, okay, don't worry. Uh, really beautiful, just pass me the pillow over quickly. Oh no, I haven't got time, I haven't got time, sorry. Uh, be back in three minutes. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready and fresh. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website, www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. We have a special treat for you on Saturday the 6th of January with Jo Carter's brilliant new show. She'll be sewing this adorable ballerina toy as featured in the latest issue of Simply Sewing magazine. This delightful toy is the latest in Jo's amazing series of plush creations in super soft shades of pastel pink. With her dainty net skirt, felt hair tied up in a bun and embroidered features, you'll love sewing this toy for someone special. So tune in on Saturday the 6th of January for the start of a brilliant new year of sewing treats from Joe Carter. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Here's that dolly. Now... I think, right, 
I think it's the spitting image. Look, it's Joe Carter. Isn't it? It's Joe Carter. Look, well, she's not quite that graceful, is she? But you know what I mean? Oh, look, even to the hairline, that's her fringe. And now she said she couldn't make a doll of me because I've got no distinguishing features. Or re did you say distinguishing or redeeming? Mind you, well, I look like Derek on the Christmas card. Did you get sent the Christmas card? I looked like Derek on the Christmas card, didn't I? Um, that's, so when, what day was that? What day is she doing that? Oh, I'm not in at the weekend. How cute. Oh, I don't know where I've got her from now. I'll just sit her there for now. Right, talking of cute, Lucy Brennan made this cute cushion. That's more like me, apparently. That was producer Hannah saying that. Isn't it cute? Isn't it lovely? It's from a brand spanking new book, right? I've got two bundles from which you can make. Well, the thing is, right, you can make this. Oh, it's not. Um, there's supposed to be buttons on here. Lucy Brennan, there's supposed to be buttons on here. Um, you can make this, but just from the gorgeous bundles, you can make whatever you want. But we've done a bundle for you to make this cushion, right? Um, I'll show you the two bundles. This one is obviously this one here. So what you get in this bundle is you get spot on in blue, biscuit, spot on in, in spot. I uh, know, spot on in spot, spot on in sand. Uh, ditzy fabrics, bobbins slash buttons, and flowers in a vase. Three metres in total, half a metre of each. £34.99, plus the thread, plus the felt. That's nice, isn't it? Really lovely, subtle. And in fact, both of them are very subtle and stated. That one's over, um, obviously got overtones of the blue. This one's got more of the pinky, greeny, lilac y thing, one I'm going to show you now. This one's got Liberty fabrics in it, look. You get half a metre of each of the fabrics, antique pink, spot on mauve, uh, biscuit uh, spectrum, and then the two Liberty prints there and the Ricardo Little Liberty print there. These are called something large, aren't they? Newland Large, that's it. And they're Ricardo. That's Ricardo. Say that again. No, antique pink, you said. Vintage pink, biscuit. Yeah, lilac, spot on. Thank you. That was lilac, was right. Anyway, she's getting nitpicky now because she's got the name of one fabric wrong. What did I say then? £37.99 plus the thread, plus three metres of fabric. There you go, there's the bundle. Now, all of this, I'm not going to go through the book now, but all of this comes from a brand spanking new book. And it's a lovely book. 18 projects. There's the cushion, there's the cushion there, look. Look at that, that's less than a pound a pattern. All of them suit these kind of fabrics. Let me turn it around. Look at these. They're so cute. Where are you going to put them, Hannah? And how many crayons have you got to put away? Oh, the projects are divine. I'll go through it all. I'll go through it all. But it's bra Oh, I'm, I'll, I'll say I'm going through it later. Oh, there are some beautiful projects in here. I am keeping it a secret until we get over there. Uh, right. Um, I'll take the cushion. Let's have a look at the cushion again. There you go. Hello. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mm, how are you? Did you have a nice I'm time? Well. I did, yes. Good. had a lovely time. When did last, what day were you in last then? When did I see you last? 29th. Oh, so I saw you between Christmas when and When we were freezing. Oh, that's right. And now I feel it. It's nothing on. It's boiling. It's like a hot <laughs> house in here today. <laughs> One or the other. Right. New book. New book. Gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous. Loads of lovely projects in this one. Um, should we look at it through it now? Should we look through it now? Yes. Uh, have you got any favourite projects in it? Um, oh, look. Well, I do. I love the bear. Now, I so, the, the this bear. bear in the book is finished, you see, with the buttons on it. And all... <laughs> All my children loved the bear. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, but you can't take it home because you'll have to make two more. Then, but that, you? you can tell when they really like it when they go, is that one for telly? Oh. <laughs> uh, baby bear uh, rattle. Oh, do you know what? That's taken me back. What story was it? Right, it's taken me right back now. 
No, 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 to this life, to this life. <laughs> but there was a, 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 like a story all about a rattler. It looked just like that. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Look, 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 look. If you remember what the story is, let me know. Modern colour block. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? All these beautiful... There's 18 projects in here. Little bibs there. Be a nightmare to iron that one, wouldn't it? But beautiful. That's sweet, though. Um, they're all gorgeous, these... Oh, there's, the, there's the cushion again. They love this cushion, don't they? Then we've got little uh, tote bag. So many different... And all the instructions how to... Mouse house doll quilt. Oh. Oh, there they go, there they go, there go. Uh, Hannah wants those, if you've got a spare oh, that's so few best. minutes. That's so sweet. I love the, all the little touches, you know, little bits of embroidery, oh, no, bits of hand stitching. On the what? On the spot, trivet. Trivet, you put, what you put your pans on. <gasps> What's a trivet? Oh, no. Oh, no. Honestly. These children today. Stack Texican mug rug. Oh, that's yeah, cute, that's with a nice. little pocket for your tea. Oh, for your biscuit. Oh, no, for your oh. tea bag. <laughs> you could put a biscuit in there. No, the, the wooden biscuit wouldn't last in there, would it? <laughs> Rick Rack coasters. There's, aren't they beautiful? I mean, everything. They're beautiful. That's Small clever. things, fabric boxes. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. There's so many cute things. Jam chart pink cushion. Oh, now. Yeah, but Hannah, you'd get that confused with you. You'd be like, where's my pink cushion? Oh, it's in the fridge with the other jams. Do you keep your jam in your fridge or the cupboard? Uh, once it's open in the fridge. Yes, yeah, so do I. Everyone yeah. says you don't need to do it. I yes, always do. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Where'd you keep your eggs? Fridge, but you don't need to. No, I don't. I keep mine out. Anyway, anyway, that's by the by. Shall we make a cushion? <laughs> uh, I just want to see the lady. Oh, there she is. Oh, I sort of recognise her. Have we had one of her books before? Hang on, what's her name? No. no or well, maybe I just know her. She's lovely. Oh, she's oh I, think, I think I'd want her to on be my friend. Media. I know, yeah. Just Did you yeah. watch, and I'll start making the cushion now, and I'll stop waffling on because I know you'll all complain. Did you watch the um, Big Brother? It's no, all ladies gone in. No, I don't watch that. The men are going in at the weekend, but it was... F I don't really... No. I'm usually watching it and I'm texting my friend Lady Audrey going, oh, God, oh, oh, I watched the first one because I thought it's interesting sociologically, yes. but beyond that, I'm yeah. not interested. Oh, the first one I seen 20 years ago. 20 odd years ago. Well, yeah, most anyway, let's talking. start, let's start, let's start. Where okay. do we start with this cushion? We start with the ears. Do you, oh, do we? We do. I'm just going to move these. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I don't need all of them. So you, it's got the templates in the book, full size. Are they, are they are there in the back of the book? There, yeah, in the, the back of the book. Uh, the bundle that we're using is the Liberty bundle, and the mainly pink bundle. I had to keep them in a little bag, so I didn't so lose, lose them. them on um, tray. And I did remind myself I've got to do... Got to do but <laughs> the buttons aren't real the buttons. buttons, do you? The buttons are felt buttons, No, they're buttons, just aren't fabric, aren't they? yeah. yeah fabric. So you've got little pieces, you've got your buttons, um, your eyes and your nose. So right. we'll, we'll come to those right. shortly. Oh, Ooh. if they're still there. And then there. your um, nose. Your big nose. And your ears. ears. So the first thing that we're going to do is... Um, Make, you, make the ears. Now, um, you've got a half metre of each fabric, so you could, you don't have to use the fabrics that you've used to do all the different bits, do you? You can make no. it diff you can choose which one you use, because yes. you've got exactly the same amount of every single fabric. You can do how, whatever you like. Yeah. So for the ears, you need some of the plain fabric for the front of the ears, and then you can back it with whatever you like. Right. So I'm going to choose from um, one of these. Right. Do think, back of the ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one. Um, so all of the cutting is really straightforward. It's mostly squares. Right. So it's nice, simple um, patchwork, you know. So nothing too, too complicated. But the all of the construction in this is, is you know, it's all quite interesting, and particularly okay. when it comes to the little boxes and things like that, you know. Do you say interesting or intricate? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. It's always nice to see the different ways that people, um, you know, construct things. It's very popular already, Lucy. Yeah, it's, it's very, very sweet. It's the kind of thing that you would turn to when you want a gift for somebody, yes. I think. Um, but also, if you're lucky enough, you know, to say, have a nice sewing room. Yes. You can make all those little, um, you know, little storage things and have, have that like look, your look pretty. Like your sewing room at home. Oh, I wish. Oh, if you could see it. 
Is it a mess? Oh, you tell me off. It's just Shall I pop oh, round and tidy? Awful. Yes, pop round and tidy. That would Whenever I go to see my friend Jennifer, I, not anymore because she's moved, but when, I gone, oh. when we were both in London, yeah. she'd say, oh, do you want to come round for your Sunday lunch? And I knew exactly <laughs> what it meant. It meant, tidy come round, up. tidy up my flat and I'll cook your Sunday lunch <laughs> while you're tidying up. So we're going to trace the... So I've just printed that off, bare ear template. I photocopied it. Or can you print them Sorry, off? yes, just I've photocopied, yes, photocopied it. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, just photocopied it. Um, but you don't need to enlarge it or anything. So no. it's, it's, it's a very, very big simple. piece of fabric. And then, I know, yeah, it is. I'm just following the instructions. Oh, does it tell you? Does it tell you to cut a square that big out then? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Michelle says, "Morning, John. Got the book. <coughs> love the cushion. Going to go well with the grandkids' quilts. I'm doing lots of love, Shelley in Lincolnshire. Oh, Lovely we had a message Shelley. during the break from Posh Michelle, who's um, start. We've got a competition. Oh, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the hour. I'll tell you later. Yeah. We've got a competition for you to design your own block for Sewing Quarter's birthday." And I, I can't remember what she said. What was the message, Hannah? The Posh Michelle's message. Oh, she, she started the block now for the competition. She's have a lost weight. I don't think I've lost weight. I've just got a different shirt on, but thank you. Love, love, love the teddy cushion. Great for a baby's nursery. Lots of love from Lorraine. Lovely Lorraine. It is. I think it was, it's beautiful. And it's not, did you say it's got the stuffing in the no, nose? No, I didn't. I left that. It's got a little bit of stuffing in the nose. I'll just say, because I think it's sweet. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Yours won't make that noise unless I pop round. <laughs> so it's kind of got a little 3D. 3D know, effect nose. 3D effect. Right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot pinking shears. Can I get some pinking shears? Oh, please? could you ask Flora Sorry. to bring some pinking shears in? I forgot. <clears throat> you should get all the crew to pick colours from the spectrum range and create a range of sewing quarter, fat quarter packs. Lisa, you're my thoughts exactly. Yes. Um, could thinking. you get Flora to get the pinking shears? Oh, brilliant. So, um, so this would be the back. So if. I mean, it doesn't really matter when you've got a solid, but you want to put it um, right sides together yeah. with your um, the back of the ears. And right. the ears are, um, you know, they move, whatever. They, st they stand proud. Yes. So they're not, they're not completely flat. No, pinking shears. Pinking like shears are scissors with zigzags zig on them. zigzaggy scissors. Ask, ask Hayley. Orange handles. Yeah. Right. Um, so, and then all we're going to do is sew... Um, on that line. Oh, okay. okay. To make the ears, yeah. To make the ears, yeah. The book is very, very, very popular, I need to tell you. What's the matter? No, nothing. When I'm sewing around a curve like this, I just like to reduce my stitch length. Right. And take it down. So I'm doing it on a two. Right, you have. You could go smaller, just depends on your machine, really. Thank you. Thank you. The other nice thing I like about this is, oh, hello. Oh. Don't do that. What did you do? Um, I just made it jump. Um, when you're um, sewing a curve like this with a, with a pattern like this, it doesn't matter if it's completely perfect, thank goodness. <laughs> um, you know, when it's something natural, I don't think it matters so much. But you can stop and pivot as you like yep. to just go all the way around that curve. And then, when I'm trimming a curve, I like to use pinking um, shears because it saves you having to, you know, cut, cut into, into the it, curve. Yeah, yeah. So you get a much neater um, curve if you use the pinking um, shears. I don't so recognise those. Do you thought. want to do We've that got... while I sew this Oh, you one? trust me, so you cut yes. it. Yes. <clears throat> um, go to the website, find pinking shears. I thought they had blue handles, the pinking shears, but there you go. These are the Fiskars ones. These aren't. These are right-handed ones. No, the blue ones are sewing quarter ones. Yeah. How close would you like me to cut? Um, reasonably close. Uh, you meant to leave like a quarter inch seam, but you want to cut into that. So we want the points to be quite near the stitches, but not too close. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> didn't warn me you were going to do this to me. Just go for it, you can't. You I'm can't going to. Yeah. A third of the book has been checked out. Brand new book today. So I'm trying to multitask, talk and cut at the same time now. <laughs> That's it, lovely. Thank you. All right. I'm On a roll. <laughs> this is nice. And then we're just going to turn that through. So we've got the nice pink edge yeah. and we'll just turn that through. Don't have me as your assistant doing this. I'll be here all day. <laughs> 
And then I just like to roll it with my fingers and then we can give this a press. Oh, we have a lovely little wooden turner thing, didn't we? You stare at the top in there. Oh, don't we? Which side do I do this on? I do it either side, but do it on oh, the um, metal side. Do it on the metal. Do yeah. it either side, but you do it on the metal side. You can do it on either side, yeah. All oh, right, but do like it on that the, one. I like the metal oh, side right, best. All right, I'll just put it on that one. How right. did you turn your ear through? Just turn, just turn it. No, no, not oh, how, but as in, you did you push, roll the edge? Thing, yeah, there. just roll it with my fingers okay. and then give it a press. And it's important that you press this um, nice and neatly because the next bit is um, adding the stitches. Fran said, morning, John and Lucy. I'm sat in my new craft room, <gasps> which my hu Lovely. husband Jeff built, watching you on TV. Now, Ooh. he built it while he was watching us on telly, or you're sitting in your craft room watching us on telly. In the craft room, which Jeff built. <gasps> How lovely! Because um, Michelle's um, other half, Clint, she's buying, she's built, he's building her one as well in the garden. Oh, uh, nice. was that message for Irene? Hello, lovely bear cushion. No, oh, hi. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's because there's no comment. Ha hi, lovely bear cushion. Can I wash it? I was worried about the felt. Best wishes, Irene. Yeah, I mean they're only small pieces of felt. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think it would be fine. It is wool. You could wash on wool or wash on a hand wash yes, um, yeah. setting. What I would do, though, is I'd wash the felt first or wet the felt first yeah. because some felts, I don't know about this, I've never tested it, some felts do run, don't they? Yes. So what I'd do is, Irene, if you're going to do it, wet the felt first and dry it so you see if any colour comes out of it first before you put it in the washing machine. And then you just have to be careful of the ears because you need to press the ears because they're so cute, aren't they? Yeah, they're very cute. But the rest of it. But I wouldn't, even if, if I use wool thread or wool anything, I just wash it as wool. Yeah, That's yeah. tense, but I think it would be fine. Yes. I think it would be all right. Okay, so we're going to add some um, stitches to the um, ears. ears. So you want to use a nice thick thread. You want to, you know, want it, like it to be visible. Thread? So yeah. this is an embroidery thread, okay. and I'm using all six strands. Okay, available on the website. So I just go in through the bottom of the ear, yeah, just there. to make it easy, and I've just done a knot. Um, and you're going to have a quarter inch seam allowance there, so you don't want to start right at the end. You can oh, yes, just, yes, yes, of You course. know, go in a bit. And then I just do as if I was um, quilting, so I just rock back. Are you doing long grain forward. rice? L like a, like a long, an... l a basmati rice. A basmati, I don't yeah. know the difference. Well, long grain is longer. That's oh, is it? Is that all? What's no, I'm sure there is a proper difference. That's, oh, yeah, I'm sure there not, is. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, more than half the books have gone now, by the way. More than half the books have gone. So you could do this in, um, you know, a different colour if you wanted to. Yeah, if you're doing the pink cushion. You could do it in a nice pink, pink or, pink. yeah. Something Say that again, like that. Hannah. Fran said, I knew you'd say that. No, I'm watching. I am watching you. It is my piece of heaven. Oh, I bet. What, watching Aww. us? Blimey. <laughs> Thank you, Fran. Though. Happy New Year to you. How lovely to have a craft room. Eh? I know. So lovely. <clears throat> my French boy Mary's got a craft room in her new um, house. <clears throat> and she, no, she, no, she wasn't interested in craft before I moved here. Mm -hmm. And then she started watching and she got a sewing machine. She set up the whole room oh, and everything. Lovely. She bought one of the um, unicorns. And threw it in the bin because she got so angry. Oh, did. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the learning process, but now she wants her son to move out so she can have another room for because she does jewellery making as well. Oh right. So <clears> yeah, <throat> so you need two separate rooms. Yeah. She's not little, he's not little, think you know, she's not he's not like twelve and she wants to kick him out. He's in his I don't know, he's in his twenties now, I think. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I need a bigger needle. You need a bigger needle. Yeah, it's all right. Arlene. Hi, everyone. Last day watching during the week is back to work tomorrow. Oh. I will miss watching. Oh, Arlene, and we've been on all the holidays, haven't we, as well? You can watch it on YouTube. Yeah, you can always catch up. Or, no, Hannah, you can't do that. Hannah says, don't bother going back. Just stay watching. Just see how it goes. <laughs> don't bother going back. OK, so when I get to the end, yeah, when listen. I'm going to be doing my final stitch, yeah. I'm just going to go through and come out... Oh, okay, through, just through, through the, the one there, yeah. Yeah, just so that I can knot it there and I'm not having to worry about, yeah. you know, neatly. Now, would you bother knotting? Up. You see, yes. I just leave yes. the thread hanging down there. No, because then... what if I don't catch it and then With it comes out? Yes, and then oh, I would, that oh, would yeah. just be disastrous. So I right, do. Then. I like things to be nice and secure. Okay. So I'll just do a little knot and hide it in there. Right, okay. 
You won't question. You won't see it, but no, it's a, it's a good question. Just yes, do or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't be lazy. I don't know. These there guests who don't listen to and me. And then you can trim that off. Yeah. And then you'd repeat that for the other ravens. Okay. I won't. I shan't do that now. Okay. Do you want me to? No, no, no. no. What just time? takes no, a little it's while, doesn't already. it? I know. Sorry, I better sorry, hurry up. I know. I'm making the cushion. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. It's got to have ears. We've done a half an ear and an ear. <laughs> That's all we've done so far, 21 minutes. Well, that's, you know, that's the time it takes. Right, okay. Okay, so then we're going to cut out... because people will start telling me off. Oh. Don't you pick on our Lucy. No, it's quite funny. What's next? Then? I like it. <laughs> um, so then we're going to cut out our squares. So I'm just looking. Have you ever made yes. this before? Yes, I have. I made Did it you get your daughter to make this? And you just are. brought it in and going to pretend that I've made it? No. Reduce the size slightly and make several of the cushion fronts checkerboard with pastel solids for a wall hanging or a quilt. Well, that'd be nice. Yes. You have to make it smaller though, do you, Lisa? Oh, I, well, like, I do lovely. like the checkerboard. Do you want one? I like the checkerboard. Yes. But also you've got, you've got uh, if you notice here, the corner ones are two triangles, look. See what I mean? It's not just one. That's cute. But yes, it'd be lovely to have little faces on, on the quilt, on a big quilt, or, bed, or, or a cot quilt. Right. That'd be nice, wouldn't it, with the teddy bear faces in the cot quilt? Getting a bit carried away now. No, well, you could. I mean, it would be quite... Oh, it would be, Lucy's not yet. It would could. be tactile, wouldn't it? be a tactile quilt. Yeah. With the little ears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah except that, um, that if they're anything like me when I was a baby, it'd be like this. With the ear, wouldn't it? Be where you, oh, wouldn't you? Your, did your kids not have that, like security blankets? No, I had one one sucked his thumb. Yeah. Well, my son sucked his thumb and the girls nothing. Oh, that's because they're like you, they're strong. Oh no, you, she's like got you. oh no, I've said I'm telling a lie. Oh, the, the little one has cloths, but she doesn't suck them. She just oh. loves them. Mr. Donut. As the different they're all food. Mr. Donut, Mr. Chips. Did you make them for her? And then you say, no, they're just muslin cloths. And then you say, oh, which one's that? And she knows which one it is. Oh, I don't know how she knows. She's only 17. I think she'd make it. <laughs> 17. Okay, what are you so doing? I'm, going to cut, doing? I'm just cutting the squares. So but you put three, six layers of fabric there? Yes, I have. Oof. Well, Devil maker. Get it done. Jeff got sick of the mess I made in the house. That's the secret getting a craft room built for you. <laughs> It's not working for Lucy, though, No, it? it's not working for me at all. I make a right mess. mess How old's your oldest child? My eldest is... Oh, blimey, you have to think about it. I have it. to think about it. I've got three. I sort of forget. Um, Just nine. give them numbers. He's oh, nine. 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 Well, it's ages for he... That's a boy, isn't that one? Yeah. Before he leaves home. Then. Yeah. Oh, I know. So he ages. won't have a craft room for at least 11 years. No. And don't they say now that the average age for children leaving home is 37? because they can't afford to buy a house. They go to university yeah, and they come back. Yeah, to come back, yeah. Well, <coughs> even I did that. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. Your poor mum. Left, left and went back. She loved it. <laughs> That's what she said to you. She said, yeah. Now, I might... You want to um, keep a separate one for the um, bit along the base. So oh, OK, I might so you're keeping the, the antique for that. for that one, yeah. And then I'll just do some squares of this one quickly. OK. So you want a nice variety so you can sort of mix them. Mix them up. Now, normally you have all this cut before you come on the show. You've been ch chatting to Hayley. I've just, you know, sometimes not as prepared as I think I am. <laughs> uh, my friend Chloe had a spare room, but as soon as we met her, told her about the show, it now has seven tables, two sewing <gasps> stations and three machines in it. Wow. <clears throat> Blimey, that's a big room. I might move in. <laughs> seven tables? Wow. Now is that? I've done that one. Okay. So now we can start laying it out. What room do you sew in then, Lorraine? It's crazy, Lorraine. What sort of room do you sew in? Right. Oh, we need to do the half square triangles first. Yes. That's the corners, two of the two corners where the ears are attached. Yeah. So I've got to do... Uh, this bundle that Lucy's using is the most popular. I'll go across and show you the two bundles in a second. So this is five inch square. So now you're cutting these because all this is in the book, isn't it? All these instructions yes, are in the book. Yes, it's all in the book. What's that one? Five. 
on slap in the back cushion. Because it's sweet. Very sweet. Where's the Rick Rack? Oh, yeah, lots of projects in the book. Every while you're cutting that out, I'll just yeah. go through the Rick Racks if that's right. That's fine. I've got it in pale pink. I think they just call it pink. Just call it pink. It's very unattractive with all labels. I'll turn it around that way. Uh, 25 metres, <coughs> 12 pounds and 99 pence in the pink. We also have it in the sky blue. This is sky blue. This is sky blue. It's Adela, isn't it? Lucy was dancing. Did you catch that? <laughs> She's still in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> now, this one's called natural, I believe. It's more like um, lemony apricot. They call it natural. My middle name. Thinking of having my Botox redone. What do you think? Oh, no, please don't. I know. We've talked you about You haven't got that to before. live with this face, though. Right, well, and then I the last look, one's this one. I have to look at it and I like it. Oh, all right, then, thank you. Where was that? Oh, the lady in a uh, crew. Oh, I haven't got a crew shirt on today. I, I bought some a hoodie in crew yesterday and she kept saying, You've got the most beautiful twinkly eyes. Oh. And I was like, Are you harassing me? Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, then I left. I had the biggest hug. Anyway, twelve ninety nine for the lilac. Oh, I'm losing everybody. Hello? All right. My experience, what? Not crew the place, it was crew the shop. I wasn't in the northwest yesterday. Oh, we went to um, Formby on New Year's Day. Oh, did you? Yeah, I went to the seaside. Oh. It was lovely, lovely blue skies. Oh, was it? And then it got to lunchtime, it started chucking it down, so we just left. Yeah. Right, I'm doing this very quickly, so it's terrible. Yeah, but nice nails you know. this morning as well. They're like ombre, you. don't they? Yes, they are. Did you do that yourself or did you tell no. the lady in the shop? Lady, lovely lady. Does she wear a mask? Did she, no. Well, no, no, because you go past some of those nail bars. Yes, they do. And they're all sitting there around, they've all got masks on, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, they do. Sometimes see people in the street wearing them as well, don't you? In Japan, yeah. No, here. Oh, now I do believe that Hannah and little Paul are going on holiday together. Oh, yeah. To Japan? He want, he's desperate to go to Japan. I'd right? like to go to Japan. And he put on Facebook. You must have seen it on Facebook yesterday. Yeah, going, Surely know. somebody wants to go to, fa to Facebook. Somebody wants to go to Japan with me in February. And like all his mates were like, mm, yeah, whatever, mate. Well, you know. Anyway, Hannah went, I'll go, I'll go. Let's go to Vietnam. And he went, I'm not staying in a hostel. <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm staying. He said, if you look up posh hotels, we can go together. <laughs> so little Paul and Hannah's holidays, because she went off to Cuba on her own, didn't she? Had a she fantastic did, time yeah. in Cuba. No, oh, that's fine. And, um, but just doing what you do, you know, travelling and everything. But Paul has to have a nice hotel and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm like Paul. Yeah, I am as well. OK, so um, we're going to put the ears together and then yes. we'll lay out all okay. the squares. So um, with the ears, you have to pay attention. OK, I'll shut up. Because this is sort of the background. So that's what's behind the ears. Yeah. So I've just taken the five and a half, five inch squares, sorry, and cut them on the diagonal. And then you want to centre them. So I like to fold the triangle. Just give it a press in the centre, fold the ear, give it a little press and just match those up. Yeah. OK, and you don't need to worry about the angle of the ear because... Does, does it matter? You've used the same fabrics. So it needs to be the same fabric. No, not no, at all. No, you okay. can do absolutely whatever you okay, like. OK, sorry. It doesn't matter. You, you can position whatever fabrics wherever, wherever with this okay. pattern, really. But you do want the ears... Um, to be different from yes, this the, one, the otherwise square, they the won't sort of, it, yeah. it'll look like the, the triangles turns into an ear, it would be a yeah. bit odd. Um, so then you just position that like that and make a little sandwich and then sew a quarter inch okay, seam. Then. So you can pin, you should pin. Should? Yes, you should okay. pin. Uh, this Liberty Bundle that uh, Lucy's using, we're down to under 20 now already. Already at under 20. It's absolutely beautiful. So you haven't even, Where's the Ricardo? You haven't used Ricardo at all yet. I think I cut it in the squares, oh, okay. didn't I? Will you have much left over at the end? Yes, you'll have quite a bit left over. It Other depends projects in the book. which one you use for which Yes, I suppose uh, one element, you use for backing, you'll you use up a lot of that one, yeah. as well, yeah. While you're doing those, can I go and do fabrics? Yeah. Yes. You Don't can. do anything else though without me. Okay, no. It's all right. Hand, cut.
Right, the Liberty Bundle that Lucy's using to do her demonstration is this one. You get three metres of fabric, half a metre of each one, biscuit, la violet spot on, antique pink, Newland Large in pink and natural, and Ricardo, half a metre of each of those, plus your thread, plus your uh, felt. $37.99. It's the Ricardo. You haven't seen it yet, but it will be one of the squares in the, in the cushion. Half metre, yeah, half metre of everything. Two fat quarters, that is, the two fat quarters. Okay, and then, uh, the other bundle, the blue bundle, which is one Lucy's already made her cushion out of. That one. So what you have in this, you have a pale blue spot on. You have a beige, is it, or latte solid. Sand spot on. Dipsy print, button print, and uh, flowers in a vase print. £34. Lots of that in baskets, plus the felt plus the thread, $34.99. Nice. And the book, which is brand new today, more than half of them have been checked out already, full of gorgeous projects. These fabrics, those, these projects were lovely made in these um, fabrics. 18 projects in there, but look at the price, less than a pound a project. So if anybody's making anything for Hannah, she'd like the pretend jam jar as a pin cushion or the storage boxes, please. I thought you wanted the houses. So she's not being greedy, she wants those as well. 14 pounds and 49 pence. Right, back to the demonstration. Could just hire that? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so we're gonna do the layout. So I have cut a selection of um, squares because I was just doing it quite quickly. But obviously in the book, it tells you the number of squares that you need. It's not this many, I was just cutting. Can I just have a look, at, a look at this that you've just done yes. here? So if you yeah. see the ear has been stitched in between the two. So you've still got your square, but that square happens to have an ear inside it as well. <laughs> that's like it. that, isn't it? What's that reminding me of? Oh no, that's not, no, ignore that. Don't start attacking that's, me again. No, it's not rude. It's that mouse that they grew an ear on the back of, and you were going to be my mouse. Oh, how horrible. It's only because it's all French and Saunders over Christmas, and they did a thing on it, didn't they? Anyway. Oh, right. So, um, I mean, ideally, you would have done that from two different... I did on the thing, you know, oh, okay. two different ones, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So now you can just place wherever. Yeah, so now... And I sort of like having more than is necessary in a way because it gives you room to... Have you cut too many then? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I just said that. Yeah. Oh, did you? I did cut too many, but I'm OK with it. All right. <laughs> what you do want to think Where's about... Where's the pink one? Not solid pink, the pink Newland Large. Yeah. There it is. You don't use one of those what ones. you do want to think about is when it comes to um, putting the eyes on... Right. They're going on these two squares. Right. So you don't want one where the eye... I mean, it's not going to disappear on any of these. Yes. But you don't want one where the eye is going to disappear. disappear so, right, for example, yeah. with this one, I didn't want to put the eye on this one because it's already sort of... The, on the know, bobbin button one, yeah. Yeah, because it's already sort of dots. It yes. didn't um, stand out as much. Yes, so I see you, what you mean. Yeah. Yes. So you just might want to um, have, a, have a think about that. Yeah and not put that there. This one looks kind of, um, not darker, that's not the, quite the right word, but the, um, you see this is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If you look at the blue one, it's very light based. This Liberty one is gorgeous, the colours together, richer. That's yes, the word I'm looking richer. for, isn't it? Richer. Yeah, there, so I'm quite happy with that. Oh, is that it? Do you only need three rows? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So then you're just sewing this together straightforward. Oh, okay. Um, Patchwork. Right. So I'm just going to trim off the um, dog ears of these. Uh, of the triangular ones. Of this, yeah, half square triangle ones. Yes. And then I can just sew them into rows. Yeah, cutting the dog ears off the ones with the ears in them. Yes. <laughs> All the ears. Right, there are now less than 10 of the books. If everyone che Once everyone checks out their basket, there's less than 10. So you're doing rows going across, are you? Yeah, so I'm just going to... Um, well, I'm just going to do it quickly and chain piece it. OK. Oh, my very loud-sounding machine today. Is it? I don't know, I think so. 
because you're but used to having three children. Quiet. Have you all gone? Have they gone back to school yet? Yeah, they went back yesterday. <coughs> Are they ready? So I've timed that quite nicely. Yeah, because yeah, you're here for yes. three days, aren't you? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. They love school. Oh, do they? Imagine they love reading, don't, don't they? I don't know what that children? says about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to stay at home with Mum, we just want to go out to no, school. No, they love it. We do, um, every evening when we're having dinner, we do um, sweet sour service where they have to say the best bit of the day. So something really nice that happened, something not so nice that happened, that's the sour. Yeah. And then um, service is something they've done to help people. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so we do that every day. So yesterday they all said the sweet thing was that they've gone back to school. Oh. I know. But it's not, you know. And what was their nice. helpful one? Uh, they're all different, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, Fred Wasn't... got water. Joan helped with the um, washing. Oh. I can't remember what Lois is for. Yeah, they're different every day, but we do it every day. So, and sometimes they can't think of a service, so then I say, well, you've got to try and help more people, yeah. haven't you? So you've got a service. Hannah wants to do that now when we have breakfast in the morning. Yes. Right. No, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at Hannah's house. Oh, <laughs> that's a sour. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. <laughs> I just explain. I don't know how that oh, happened. Oh, dear I, me. Neither was when went. Is that was, your bucket? Must, well, it's now empty. Well, maybe it was this. It was the sewing machine bouncing yeah. the table, and that just bounced off a shelf. <laughs> oh well, there was nothing oh, in it. Oh dear. Oh, wait, so everything's. Uh, let me just go and pick up the Euro tree cutter, and oh, the yeah. quick and pick, and the Hera marker. Well, it's not happy I'll about something, is there. it? That service, I've helped out. I've put there some you things are. Back yeah, in the thing. thank you. What was the sweet working with you? Oh, how lovely. No, working with you. <laughs> uh, so I'm supposed to say working with you and Hannah. And Hannah, yes. there we go. There's one left. Just no, that's my last oh, one. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, Arlene used to sew in the cupboard under the stairs, now have a room. It looks like a jumble sale. Oh, in the cupboard under the stairs. Yeah. Most of my friends who live in London turn that cupboard under the stairs into a downstairs bathroom. Yeah, mine's, mine's got my dryer in it. Yours has got, got what? My dryer in yeah, it. Yeah, mine had my washing machine tumble dryer in yeah. it. Yeah, but I always leave the door open, so it's not a fire risk. How do you, well, when it's on, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, not yeah. when it's on, yeah. So, right. um, so those are the rows. Yes. So you can press them um, alternately. So press your seams all going one way, the next row all the, going other the other way. way yeah. But I just am going to just um, pin. Yes. So where the ear is, because this is quite bulky, you want to make sure this seam is going this way. Yes. Actually, having just said press them all that way. Yeah, make, don't. Do, do those yes. ones going in. That just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm Have just going to pin. Have you got pins? Because mine are all yeah. over the floor. I've <laughs> <laughs> got pins here. So I'll just use these. And then that one can go whichever way. Okay. Now, Arlene, I've got Arlene, not Eileen. Arlene used to sew in the cupboard under the stairs. I've said that one. Uh, is it going to come through? OK, spell it then. H Happy New Year, John and Lucy. Ordered the book. Love Lucy's demo. She explains everything so well. Have a good day. Lots of love. Elaine. Elaine. Thank, Thank you, you, Elaine. Elaine. My love. Oh, kiss, kiss. Oh. That's nice. I don't Hannah didn't read that. those out. Pumpkin had to read those out. What he's doing on her side of the room, I don't know. He only, oh, yeah, he only answers to Hannah when she calls him Pumpkin. Oh, right, OK. It's not my nickname for him. Oh, right. What's your nickname? Ginger for? Mike. Oh, yeah, Ginger Mike. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'd forgotten what it was. No, I said soulmate earlier, didn't I? Red soulmate. And he went, he answered to that. I oh, know. <laughs> He's weird. He's had his hair cut. It's not weird. He ordered all his Christmas presents <laughs> on the day before Christmas Eve and had them delivered on Christmas Eve, on the Sunday before Christmas. Amazing. Lucky is what lucky, I Lucky, yeah, lucky. 
Yeah. I was reading something that said, um, oh, the postal service is really busy because everybody's sending everything back. Oh, no. <laughs> How many yeah. of your things have gone back then, Ginger Mike? That's what they said to you, but what they really... Oh, he's got all upset now. I think Tuesday's called Take Back Tuesday. Also. Oh, yes, it's that after, yes, <laughs> Where exactly. everybody takes things back. Yeah, because when I used to work at Browns of Chester, um, when I was a child, you couldn't do, they wouldn't do, after Christmas, you couldn't do returns because it went into sale on Boxing or the uh, day after yeah. Boxing Day. So you couldn't do returns for the first few days because it was the sale. Then we had... And in those days, you used to do returns by filling in a pink book with carbon paper in between the three layers. <gasps> It was nice in the Victorian days. I was thinking about that the other day, when those card things. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love that noise. Yeah, I used to love those. OK, would you mind... Um, Letting you get to the iron. Oh, right. No, can you... Hello, two of this? my favourite people on telly. I wonder what channel she's watching. <laughs> uh, I have a sewing room. Oh, hang on. Uh, hi, my two favourite people on telly. I have a sewing room, a cupboard. Happy 2018. Oh, That's like those, you go to those hotels sometimes. You go, where's the bathroom? And you open a wardrobe and there's a sink in, and a toilet in a cupboard, isn't there? Yeah. No, you've not been no, there. I don't uh, how do you want me to press this? Any particular way? Just the way they're going, if that makes sense. Mm. But the other one's so just anyway, to the side, though. whatever, yeah. It doesn't okay. really matter. Um, so I'm just going to cut the eyes and the um, nose out of the felt. So again, I, I don't think you have to be perfect with this. If you want to, um, you know, pin it and be more accurate, you can do. But it's felt, so it's fairly easy. Ooh, do you know what? Some fabrics, when you iron them, have that lovely new yes. smell, don't they? Yes. Isn't that lovely... Oh, yeah, Shelley's husband's Clint. Oh, we've got an update photo of Shelley she shared that Clint's building her. Oh, fabulous. I cannot wait to move into my room, she says. She says, I if I keep buying things from Sewing Quarter, it'll be full before I even move in. <laughs> have you got a picture of it, did you say? Let's have a look. Oh, there it is. Look, 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 look. Oh, wow. It's like a log cabin, isn't it? It'd be like Seven Brides for Seven Brothers or something like that. Clint's built her that. It's proper, isn't it? It's not that just a shed, fabulous. that. Proper. That's not my best iron, you know, if I put Well, like that's that. all right. Oh, wrong way up. Looks a bit like a frog at the moment. <laughs> it does. So what are you doing now, so? So now I'm going to um, trace the nose. Okay, the... what have you got underneath I don't know what it? It's, called. it's not his nose, is it? It's like it's... it's that bit. That... Snout. Is it snout? Yes. It's got a, anyway. that's the nose, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of oh, face. Oh, sorry, I was doing it on me, not on there. It's face bit. <laughs> Got a trace. It's what? Face bit. Okay. So um, I'm just using the template, just going around. And again, just like we did with the ears, I'm just going to sew on the line. Okay. But you've got something else I'm underneath there. Yeah, very well. Yeah. So what I've got under here is just a little bit of um, interfacing. Fusible interface. Which I've got here, this one. Good morning. Order both sets of bear for my great grandchildren. I've turned the spare bedroom into a sewing room come den. Lots of love, Teresa. Oh, no. So this isn't. Oh, it hasn't been in yet, sorry. $2.99 meter square. Okay, so you just got a piece of that behind. Yeah, just got a piece of it behind. This isn't for. Sticking it on. Okay. The interface. This is because we're going to turn it round. So we're going to sew oh, on that line. Oh, so you're pretending that's a fabric. It and, and so you have nine it at all it. then? No. Right. So I'm just going to sew on the line and then it'll Crikey. make sense. Crikey. A minute ago I said there were 20 of these. No, the single figures in the Liberty Bundle now. What do they call it? Oh, yeah, Liberty Bear pillow there. Liberty Bear there. The pinker one of the two. The one that Lucy's making now. So you're going to leave a gap somewhere, or you're going to cut no, a hole no, no. in the... No, no, no. I'm going to cut a hole in the interface. So you're stitching all the way so around. all the way around the line. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, our Sonia's been in touch. She says, what a beautiful cushion, Lucy. Oh, thank you. She's concentrating, so she can't talk and concentrate at the same time. <laughs> Only because we're going round a, <laughs> round a kid. So then I'll just do the same thing again using the pinking shears. Oh, okay. Just um, you're doing it this cut time, round then. this. Because we need to get it done before 10 o'clock. That's why you're doing yes. this, isn't it? I'll just do it quickly. And try not, try not to cut my stitches. Mm-hmm. Seven minutes we've got you now, Luce. And I've just realised I should have ironed the... Um, you want that thing? I should have put the nose on first. Oh, yes. So I have to just... Um, uh, Naughty Caroline, love John and Lucy shows. If I get any, if I get any more sewing kit, I shall have to move into a tent in the garden. <laughs> Lots of love, Naughty Caroline. Right. So I've just cut a hole in your interfacing, in and then I'm going to turn it through. You don't have to use interfacing. You could, if you've got a scrap of fabric, you could use a scrap of fabric. Yeah, you couldn't could. You? Use a scrap or lightweight of fabric. calico, yes, or something like that. Anything like that. Yeah, bit of muslin, whatever. Muslin. Just to turn it through muslin. <laughs> so I should have. Um, stitch the nose, uh, on. nose bit on first, but I forgot. But what you don't want to do is sew over this bit because you're going to stuff it. Oh, yes, of course. So you don't want to... Oh, can I? No, I can, can't I? Because I could just stuff it in there. So we'll just do that. So in the real world, you'd sew, you'd sew the sew nose on, on first. first. And the... And embroider the mouth. And on. embroider the mouth, but I just forgot about that. That my fault. So I'm just doing like a little top stitch. Yeah, I'm just going to do it really quickly. Okay. And I would do this. I wouldn't do it in the... Um... You do it in brown? Yeah, do it in brown. But you'll just be able to see quickly. Actually, I quite like it. It doesn't oh. really matter, does it? No. You know that like oh, you, got it, you know you normally do that machine to needle down position. Can you machine can you press a button to make it needle up? Machine yes. Anything? Yeah, there's a button there. Okay. But I or I near enough always, always use have it. it. Down, yeah. The machine I had before didn't have that function, and that was one of the things on my list of things I really wanted it, you okay, know, yeah. to do. Right. So then you'll sew a um, smile. Smile. I might just make this one without, and then we're going to attach the. Um, Oh, look, just putting that on there. Yes. Look, just putting those three bits on there. Right, OK. That's lovely, So now, so you're, you sew the eyes on next. So obviously. you can sew the eyes on. Now, you do want to, you know, if you put them like that, it sort of makes it a bit mean. <laughs> I mean? Well, it's I upside don't down, know. But... but the way, you know, the way you put the eyes, I like how she's positioned the eyes, really. Right, I think that looks nice. So you'd sew those on. You look a bit stuck out there, you see, like that. Do you want me to do it like that? No, 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 you do it however you want to do it. Go on, well, we might, because well, then it will show how different right. it is. Do one I'll one way and one way. Prove my point. No, oh, like it's winking. Yeah. <laughs> so take your time over this bit, don't, you know, don't rush. And if you didn't want to machine sew these, you could hand stitch, so, those, stitch them. Yeah. What I will say about the felt is you don't want to go too close. To the edge. To the edge, no, because it will... Um, like in life, really. It could... <laughs> not too close to Yeah, the as Lucy just said, you could hand-stitch that on if you don't want to machine. Yeah. And I was just asking if you can hand-stitch it on. Oh, is that living on the edge? I've got that in my head now. Is that a song? Yeah. I'm talking about living life on the edge like you do. I do. <laughs> With your bumper boots on and your on skinny the edge, jeans. On the edge of my sofa. Yes. <laughs> Sewing. <laughs> You could use a little bit of glue or something to hold them down. Could if you use bonzo web. I wouldn't. Um, not really with the with the wool. Oh, okay. Um, that's all. Anyway. Do it like Lucy that. doesn't like my eyes the way I've done them. No, I don't like my stitching. Oh, okay. I don't mind the eyes. I'm just not very happy about my stitching. But yeah, but it needs much. You've only got about four yeah. minutes. Oh my gosh. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I want to know a bit, a bit about the crook. Why, yeah. why is oh, well, the I need section to do the across nose. the bottom? Well, oh, OK. And the nose. Stuff it. You and the nose. Yeah, the nose. I've got stuffing. Yeah, you've got it. Have I got it. stuffing? You've got it, haven't you? Have I? Yeah. 
Not open though. I haven't, I haven't yet. Well, I can just describe yes. it anyway. I can just describe it. Toy filling for the nose, 2 99 Get a lot there, you do a lot of noses with all that. Yeah, you, you do a lot of noses. Okay. It's the kind of thing that's useful to have though, because there are patterns like this you wouldn't think, you know, yes, oh, I need, exactly. you wouldn't look at it and know you needed stuffing for it. So you've got your eyes sewn on, and then what you do is position the nose where you want to. Yeah. Um, and then you sew around and leave a gap. Yeah. Leave about a two-inch gap, and then you stuff it. Oh, okay. And then you close it up. Right, okay. okay? So yeah. you're just sewing, leaving a little gap, stuffing, you can stuff it and then sewing it down. You stuff it with your dog or something like that, can you just push in your, push in your... Yeah, I mean, it's quite easy. Just don't leave too small of a gap. gap. Just, Depends how fat your yeah, fingers are, really. Leave, quite, leave yourself a good, a good um, you know, couple of inches at least, and then it's quite easy to stuff yeah. that, and then you just sew down. So that's all machine sewn okay. around there. Okay, that's so you've got bit. the face done. And then for the um, bottom section, you are going to add your um, rick rack. Right. So you just cut the length This that is the you natural need. rick rack that this is using. Yeah. So you're sewing it into the seam? Yes. I mean, you could use pink, you could use whatever you, whichever one you like. And then what I do is line it up with the edge of the fabric. Yeah. And so, why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing. Oh, you're not laughing at me? No. Okay. No, no, I know that your oh. new best friend does it like that as well. Huh? Randy, Randy Shaw, she, when she does Rick Rack, because you're just going to do the humps, you're only going to yeah, do the Yeah, I just hump, do the humps. Oh, is this not yeah. what Mandy I'll yeah. see. Mandy said like So she always match <laughs> the edge of that hump yes. with that line of fabric. Because what I don't like is, if you do it like this, then you only get to see that little yes, yes, bit. Yes, exactly. And I don't mind seeing, I mean, I don't even mind seeing a little bit of the... The dip. The dip of it, it you know, because yeah. it's sort of more decorative that way, I think. So... Um, I just stitched that on. So using, um, you know, less than a, probably like an eighth or something. Just go along. And okay. Stitch so now, that why down. have I got this? Why have I got this then? Because well, I've got to, I've got to leave you now to go and do the, the round. Oh right. Up. Okay. This is a fusible fleece. Yeah, fusible fleece is what I, I like to use on the back of cushions. Right. On the there. back of there. So on the back of there. So use. Um, uh, once it's that's all done and you've got your rip rack and your ball. So once I've done that, I just sew that piece yes, there, yeah. fold it back, and then put fusible fleece on the back and then quilt it. Right. If you want to put a lining in the cushion, you need some fabric behind, behind. the fusible fleece as well. Brilliant. Um, but you you don't have to. And then you just did an envelope back. And on then the back. I did an envelope back and then um, binding with a two inch strips of. Um, Fantastic. Binding. So yes. you do, the iron-on, uh, the iron-on, uh, I will go now over now and do the fabrics, the iron-on fu fusible fleece, you'd put in on nearly all cushions, would you, not just? Personally, that's what I always use in cushions. Um, you're yes. back in an hour, aren't you, with this? I am, yes. Right, very quickly, I'll, let's go and do the fabrics and the boots. Thank you, Lucy. Okay. Sorry. Right. Liberty Bundle first. Very, very, very popular. Single figures. You get half a metre of each fabric, the Ricardo, the Newland, a large in the pink and the natural, the antique pink, you get the biscuit and you get the uh, violet, plus the felt, plus the thread, £37.99. There's the still. And then the next one, which is the one that Lucy had already made, which is the blue and beige one. So you get the blue spot on, the sand spot on, the latte, you get the ditzy, you get the button slash spool and the flowers in the jam jar, plus the felt, plus the thread. £34.99. The book. Now, have I got any books left? Even. We, we're down single figure last time we checked. Let's just have a look how many we've got. Lots and lots of these in baskets. Right, we are very close to that point where I say more people have got this in their basket than we've got stock. So if you've got this in your basket, you do need to check 
out. Brand spanking new today, Premier. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. 14 pounds and 49 pounds. There's 18 projects in there, so it's less than a pound a project. Right, now we've got a competition going on. It's, you know it's our birthday on the 31st of January. Well, we're doing a birthday block bonanza, um, designer block competition. It's designer maker block, right? It needs to be 12 inches finished. Uh, so obviously you make it 12 and a half, a 12 and a half block. So when you sew it with, because we're going to sew them together. Um, it can be a design of your choice. It has to be in by the 20th of this month. So you've only got a couple of weeks to do it. Lots of people are already saying, oh, I've started, I'm starting, I'm starting. Uh, there, there are uh, fabric bundles as prizes for the best, I think it's three or four. Um, so that, um, and it can be anything, applique, it can be patchwork, it can be anything you want, as long as it's a 12 inch block finished, so 12 and a half inch, so we can sew it all together. Don't bind it off or anything like that, just send us the, the block. Um, it's very exciting, and we'll show them on the birthday week, because we're uh, one year old. For, oh, now, we, we can't send them back to you, obviously, because they'll be... They will be in a quilt, a bit like Blue Peter or Vision On used to be. Um, they will be in a quilt by then. Um, so, a really, really exciting thing to do, because, as you know, we're a year old on the 31st of January, so there will be a week-long celebration to celebrate our birthday, but on the 31st... Do what, sorry? Yeah, worldwide celebration. It's been here for a year. Right, Carnival. Oh, no, don't say Carnival, because um, Matthew's from Brazil, doesn't like Carnival. Uh, right, coming up in the next hour, it's me on my own doing EPP with some gorgeous fabrics and all sorts of things. Don't go anywhere. Get yourself a cup of tea, look at the adverts, and I'll see you here in about three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. A new year brings lots more new treats on Sewing Quarter. We can't wait to reveal what we have in store for 2018 with so many exciting guests and projects and with wonderful new fabrics that we'll have on our shows, you can look forward to a fantastic year of inspiration. We love working with our sister sewing and quilting magazines, transforming the stunning designs into kits and demonstrating techniques for you to learn. We'll have more adorable softies from designers including Joe Carter, Mandy Shaw and Lucy Brennan and dressmaking stars of the Great British Sewing Bee. We're also thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family in 2018 with her iconic fabrics from America. You'll love the new choice of vibrant colours and bold prints. We can't wait to share the new year with you, filled with fabric and sewing goodies. So tune in daily from 8 a.m. to 12 noon on Freeview 78 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com.
Uh, well, so much going on, isn't there? Um, Tula Pink, I know. I don't know when she's coming. There's no date on it, is there? Anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. Uh, competition, loads and loads and loads of uh, commenting about coming in for the competition. Remember, it's got to be in by the 20th. It's got to be in by the 20th. Right? OK. Where should we go? Oh, I'll just put, put, switch this back on. Um, right. I've got so many things to show you in this hour. I don't know where to start. Where should we start then, Hannah? At the very beginning, a very good place to start. OK, then, that's a funny place to start. We're starting with a glue pen. Right, it is sort of essential if you've never done this before. Also, when I first started, the thought of gluing fabric was just a no-no when I first started. But um, things have come on so much now, haven't they, that um, this glue, right, uh, you get this set arrives. You, when you first buy it, you get it with a refill, right? Um, and let me show you the pen. This is the blue one. It comes in blue, it comes in yellow, and it comes in pink. But they all dry clear, and you can sew over them. You can sew over them so they don't, it doesn't uh, cause any problem clagging your needle or anything like that. So for $5.99, you get this and you get this. So that's your first refill. And the pen obviously comes with, uh, already um, loaded with the glue. So for $5.99, you get that and that's how it arrives. Right? Now, if you buy, if you've already bought this, you think, well, I don't want to buy another one, but just get the refill. We sell the refills too. We sell the refills on their own in the packet of two. These are blue, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what colour you have, because it, um, I can't believe this, you know, our guest, right? Our guest is having to make a hot drink for our cameramen. Honestly, Mike, delusions of grandeur or what? Anyway, refills are £2.49. Two, but you get two for £2.49. These are blue, but they dry clear, as I said. Oh. OK, that's my glue pen, first of all, then. Denise Schmidt, Free Spirit Charm Pack. We'll do that first. Now, I've got one of these open somewhere, haven't I? Floor, could I have the open? Oh, I'm going to open this one. Right, I'm going to open this one. The colours in here are just incredible. We love, love, love the Denise Schmidt range. Now, remember we had them in the hexes. Well, I've now got them in the five-inch square. The I'm not going to lay them all out because there are just, there's a hundred pieces in here. A hundred pieces of the most exquisite, beautiful, Colours. Look, that's just the greens. I don't know what that pink one was doing there, just randomly at the top there. Look at all those different greens. No, because these are all in order, look. And we're going on to the yellow. Oh, the colours. This is like, you see, this is why I get confused. I go to look at the paint shop and think, oh, I don't want a blue, I don't want a blue paint. And then you see all the gorgeous colours. I mean, I could keep laying out like this. You get 100, look at that, 38 pounds and 99 pence. 100 different colours. We love this. Look. Very, oh, now some of those, you get, they get two of those. So you get two of those. Some of them you get, oh. Actually, are they the same? Yes, they're the same. Oh, then we're jumping to pink then. Oh, salmon. Flame. So some you get two of. Some you get one of. So you've got one of those and two of those. <gasps> Fuchsia. Cyclamen. Then we're going in. Now, I, I, when I was in a shirt shop yesterday, I asked, oh, is that a brown shirt? And they went, excuse me, sir, it's washed plum. <laughs> I went, oh, of course it is. That very famous colour, washed plum. I know, I did laugh. I mean, look, I can, I'm, am I carrying on going? Look, because you get all of these. Look at all these gorgeous going into the blue range now. It's right, it'll be good practice for floor. 
Oh, loads of you got this in your basket. Please be careful because you know putting in your, if you're new to us, putting in your basket does not guarantee that you've got it, remember. Only checking out. You can ring the call centre. It's a uh, uh, free 0800 112 <laughs> Look at these. I mean, the colours are just going into baby blues, sky blues. Isn't it just, I think I'm going to run out of space on the table. I have to go down here now. A hundred different pieces, look. It is beautiful. They're all five-inch charm packs, look. By Denise Schmidt. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're down to single figures already and I haven't even finished unfolding it yet. Unfurling it, even. Have I got any more space? There we go. Look, a hundred different colours. Oh, well, I say a hundred different colours. A couple of them, only about three of them had repeats. I don't know why. Maybe they put them in by accident. If I counted those, there might be 103 in there. You never know. One, two, three. Right, there's three left. There are only three of those left now. Good luck, good luck. There's loads of you putting that in your basket. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. This one will have to be Hannah's now. How much is it? 38.99, please, Hannah, and I'll pop it up for you later. There we go. We got all the bits. Right. Well. If that's the rest of it, the rest of the hour is going to go like that. Be fantastic. The cave spot. Okay, I showed you this at eight o'clock. It's been very, very, very popular. Also in single figures. We'll start here with the greys. Oh, there's only three left. There's only three of these left. It's all cave. It's all spotted, and it's every colour you can imagine. Look, forty different pieces, or forty pieces. For £52 and 99 pence. That's a brilliant idea, isn't it? Because he does spots in every range, doesn't it? <clears throat> to put them in a design role like that is beautiful. In conjunction with Free Spirit as well. £52 and 99 pence. Please be careful. How many are left, did you say? Oh, three. There's three left. There's three of those left if you want that. Now, I don't know if we're going to reorder that. I don't know. No, that's not me going, oh, I don't know if we are. I really don't know if we're going to reorder that. And what's her name's not in today, is she Harriet? So I don't I can't ask her. Right, I've got two little charm packs here. Designer Essentials. Right, and then I'm going to do some templates, right? Let's do this one first. Um, now, I've only got one of these. Oh, have a look from the side there. You can see the colours. This is called Soft Spring Spectrum. It's not called Spring, it's just called um, Soft Spectrum. It is making me think of, of springtime. Let's get my glasses, couldn't see my glasses. I need a pair of glasses to find my glasses these days. Aren't they lovely? Look at the colours in there. So, $7.99? Right, how many are in there? There's 20 pieces in there, and it's £7.99. I love the colours. Very, very delicate, soft colours in there, look. It's 39 pence a square. Love. Oh, I get... Oh, it's very busy today. I hate it. When you're watching a shopping channel, I hate it when they go, oh, it's very busy on the lines, and I've just gone and done it, haven't I? But I'm just warning you, it's very, very busy. That's lovely. Now, I've got one other that I can open here. I don't know the can opener. I've got an opener that I can't. No. Oh, now these are. Oh, now these will go. How many of these have I got? Not enough. There's a lot, but not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Whenever we do a bundles of fabric in this colour range, now it's not giving anything away. Is it designer essential solid? How many are in this one then? Is it 20 in this as well? Um, look at the colours. Look 
at the colours. Natural, earthy tones. But when we do bundles of these colours, they absolutely fly out. 20 pieces again, 6 99 Look, look at the gorgeous cut. You know, I'd buy a couple of those. They're loved. You know, like this, Lorraine would like this, because this, this, these, all these colours will ma match the duvet in her bedroom. Not saying how or no. She's already invited me out for lunch or dinner when we're at Festival of Quilts. It's not till August, is it? Well, I said, it depends if, how many days they send me over there for. Um, anyway. I bet I won't get a VIP ticket, no. But we usually have our own little stand, don't we? That's fine. Um, 6 99 for 20. They're flying out. I told you, multi-buying. People are multi-buying, multi-buying. Do you know what? Even to have in your present cupboard, and you've, you've got sewing friends, just to say, oh, it's a little charm pack. 6 99 Charming little gift, that one. 6 99 Right, let's do some tilde templates, then. <clears throat> They're for EPP, English paper piecing. Right, so which one would you like to start with? Mini hexes, you get 196 in the packet. Now, there's no fabric or anything like that. It's just the cardboards and the instructions, obviously. Just wondering which is the best way to open this real quick. That way. People put them in their baskets already. Now, all these little charm packs would be perfect. Now, this is for people who have got, who love little intricacy you get 196 of these in here. You can reuse them if you're careful. Now, you can, if you use the fabric glue as well to, to fold the fabric over, you can use them again and again. I wouldn't say we can use them forever because obviously one day they will start wearing out. But 196 there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little hexes. They are small. They are small. But look at this, look at this, look at this. You get all this with it. There you go. So it tells you how to do it, how to place the fabric, how to stitch them. Obviously, they've got different shapes in there, because obviously I've got three different shapes, so it's the same instructions in each box. So the diamonds and the circles are coming up next. The size of the hexagon in the packet... Oh, glasses. One and a half centimetres, 0.6 of an inch. No, that looks bigger than that. Let me measure, I'll measure, I'll measure, I'll measure. It's on the front of the packet, but... Um... No, actually, they measure an inch across these. Hang on. I'm going to take one out and I'm going to show you so you can t tell at home. There it is. Because on the packet it says one and a half centimetres, 0.6 of an inch. But they're bigger than 0.6 of an inch. Look, right. Let me show you. Oh, I suppose it depends where you measure. Let's see where we measure from. We measure from flat to flat. No, it's an inch, look. Oh, and you're going to have to go up, up, upstairs, I think. I can do it on one of the natural ones here. Five inch, right, okay. So, that's, this is a five inch um, charm pack. This is how big the hex is. So imagine how many you can cut out out of that. Even if you get this, this charm pack with just 20 in, imagine how many those hexes. But what I don't understand is why it says on the packet that it's one and a half cent. Well, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, right, this is me, this is me not knowing what I'm doing. This is me not knowing what I'm doing. Where they take their measurement is across there. Where they take the measurement is across the one side of the hexi. So that is one and a half centimetres or 0.6 of an inch. One side of it. Each of those are 0.6 of an inch, one and a half centimetres. But if you measure... Side to side like that, it's one inch. That's my bad, that's my bad. I do apologise if I've confused anybody. But we've learnt something new, haven't we? So if you buy a tilde 
Well, it'll be interesting to see with the circles and the diamonds where the measurement comes from that one, won't it? Diamonds next. I'll just put these away so everything goes in the right place. I'll leave those instructions out because the instructions will be the same. Diamonds next. I won't get these out. I'll just show you these. So these, you get 192 pieces, and these are 3 centimetre, 1.2 inch. I'll show you the front there. Then I'll turn it round and you see that the, the measurement is like one side of the diamond there. So one measurement is three centimetres, 1.2 inches. Right, the soft spectrum is that the pastel one. Pastel one sold out, pastel one sold out. Okay. So, if, can you do tumbling blocks? Oh, yes, 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 do tumbling blocks with that one. Okay, and then, last but not least, I've got the circular one. Now, I'll have to take these out because these will be slightly different, I think. Because you've got two different shapes in here. What you get in this one is, look, you get the petal shape and you get the circle shape. Okay, so they're made up of all of those in there. Make sure we'll go back. So it's what what the way they've done the measurements on this one is they've made up a flower, and the flower is seven centimeters or two point eight inches from look, see from one side to the other. Excuse me. If you've never done curves, look, there's instructions on how to do the curves in here as well. Okay, there's curves at the end there. Okay. Again, these are, these are for people who love doing, because I, I think, I'm going to be totally honest now, I'd be rubbish at these because I haven't got the patience to do it. But people like Victoria Pete and our Lucy, who love, or Hannah loves it as well, but I know that with my big fat fingers, it would just, I, I, I get, I love doing um, things that you have to do another one over and over and over and over and over again, because I do get completely addicted to that. But if, me personally, I might not be very good at that. I might be wrong, I might be talking rubbish, I might have a go and see, see. Oh really? Apparently Hannah says, once I've started, I won't be able to stop. Yeah, the, right, the, the brownie charm pack, the neutral charm pack, this one here, there's only two left. There's only two of those left. You need to check out your baskets. There you go, six nine nine. only two of those left. Oh, loads, you just put it in your basket. Check out, check out, check out. Right. Oh, Helen. Oh, Helen. Helen says, John Scott, stop picking on the camera crew. If it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be on air. Helen, we're mates. It's banter. Blimey, Helen. Yes. Do you know them? Do you know Little Mike? Do you know Ginger Mike? I'm only taking the mickey out of them, for goodness sake. You should hear what they say to me down here. Anyway, I do apologise, Helen. Right, next. Right, Alice Carolite. Now, <clears throat> this is perfect for doing little hexes because the fabric is already cut for you, look. It is the Alice Caroline Liberty Charm Squares in purple. Oh, that's upset me a little bit, that message. Two and a half inch squares, these 36 of them. Look at the fabrics, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Nine pounds and 99 pence. All Liberty, like Tana Lawn weight. They're Tana Lawn weights, these. They're beautiful, aren't they? Now, what Alice Caroline does is she works with Liberty in conjunction with Liberty. So they are Liberty fabrics, but a lot of them will be in colorways that you won't be able to buy in Liberty because she works with them and has her own color, color printed. Like I said, 36, two and a half inch squares here. Yeah, 36 there, look, two and a half inch squares. That's cute. That again is lovely as a little present, isn't it, to give somebody. So these are Liberty prints in colours that you might not see in Liberty itself. So I'll just show you, right, look. 
Oh, look at the how beautiful these are. Now, as I said, they're tar alone. Tar alone. This one here. That one. It's gorgeous. Oh, I see what you mean. You think it's tie dye. It's more batiki than tie dye, isn't it, really? Anyway, look. Oh, apparently they, they can't guarantee which, because obviously we've got two of that one in this one. And two, oh, actually, I've got two of everything. Yours may be a mix of other colors, but they'll all be purple. They will all be purple. Aren't they lovely? Oh, my word. Look, 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 look. So it looks like you get two or three of some prints and one of others, but obviously yours might be slightly different. Oh, look at that. So where's those hexes again? Where have I put those little... I'm just going to show you one of these on there. Oh, the hexes are about to sell out. Right, but look, 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 you see. Get a couple of... Could you get a couple out of each one of those? Just, yeah. Look. Yeah, it's got seam allowance there. So you put that. Uh, now, you would definitely wouldn't get three. There's not enough um, seam allowance to get three out, I wouldn't have thought. So the little white hexes are about to sell out, so I'll just take those away. Oh, I've got other, other hexy options in a second. Beautiful. They're, oh, there's more. There's more. I've left those out. So they're all tarn alone. Beautiful, beautiful colours. Oh, yes, uh, Pantone colour of the year, isn't it? Um, ultraviolet, they're calling it. Ultraviolet. That goes in there. Right. So, Alice Caroline, very talented, gorgeous collection there. Let's just put all those back away gently. Really, and they all go together so beautifully, and they're all so different, aren't they? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Right, so I'll put that one there. Next, morning, John. Don't stop the banter, it's all part of the show, and we love it, and we love you, Nora. Thank you so much. Which one do you want to say? The wooden ones. Oh, the pink and blue ones. These. Now, now we have got this one open somewhere, but I'm just going to open another one. These are templates, and they're also brilliant for fussy cutting. Because look, what you can do, if you want to make your own hexes there, this could be the size of your cardboard. This is the size that you cut. So that's your quarter inch seam allowance around there. So you've got diamonds. You've got uh, one, two, three, four, five hexes. And you've got triangles. Oh, that triangle's a bit bigger, actually. Maybe the triangle fits there. Hmm. Right. So, oh, hang on, there's another triangle here. Funny you get three triangles, but you only get two of each of the other ones, look. So, they're brilliant, first of all, for cutting out your templates. So this could be, this would be your cardboard one. Your inside one would be your cardboard one. Your outside one would be with your seam allowance on. In the three, three, sorry? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking to me. Um, th three triangles, two diamonds, and then you've got that lovely um, hexy there. In the, uh, let's get seven of them for eight pounds and 49 pence. I haven't, got, uh, I haven't got a fat quarter here. I'll just show you on this. Right, so if you're doing hexes, 
So what you do is, first of all, you would um, cut your cardboard ones out. So, so you, you, well, not that one, but you could use that. Let's see if I've got one here. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Oh, I might have a pen, actually, here, to be honest. Go on. Oh, actually, I'll do it on a normal piece of paper. There you go. So this is what you can do. So, I pick, so this is the hexi, right? So you can draw out your... So there you go. So you can draw out your templates, cut your templates out, but then what you can do is you can use this to cut out your actual pieces of fabric because that's the seam allowance that would fit onto that template. Then if you want to fussy cut, so if you say want that, that's not the best uh, than one for fussy cutting, is it? Hang on, let's have a look. Here we go. So if you want to cut it with, you know, specific, each of them with a specific colour within them. There you go. There you go. So there you go. You fussy cut it like that, maybe. This is lipstick, this is lipstick um, charm pack there, 17.99. Do you know what I mean? There's all, you, so you can see what you're actually cutting out. Wouldn't, wouldn't matter so much with the zigzags, would it? But, um, do you know what I mean? If, oh, there you go, there you go. So you can see exactly what you're cutting out. So you know where your seam allowance is going to be because it's because th that is your seam allowance. Because if you use, if you use obviously that, you kind of cover up where you're cutting out your fabric, and you don't want to do it from the other side, do you? Whereas using this, you can then see where your seam allowance is. Oh, look, there's that spot one. That's from the um, design roll there, look. Here you go, look. Do you know what I mean? You can decide where exactly, what you want. It's nice, isn't it? Gorgeous charm pack, this one. Disco pebbles with no disco. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful. But if you've got, if you've not got a, uh, if you're not using a charm pack, if you're using a full piece of fabric and it's got little icons, you could cut it out, you could cut all the little icons out exactly where you want them. So if you can have those as the center, say you can have those as the center, you could have a flower in the middle. I haven't got anything here to show you with it really. But you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about anyway. You know more than I do. Right, so that goes with that, and that goes with that. Okay, I'll just put that piece of paper away. Put this away. Right, uh, Heather Bailey design roll, which we had earlier in the 8 o'clock hour, also been very, very popular. Okay, that goes there, that goes there. This is how it'll arrive at your house. And these are all the most, we love, oh, it's not there anymore. Uh, the quilt that we had earlier. Just, uh, like I said earlier, when we had a, um, a Fat waters of these fabrics the other day. I was in my element because they are just, we were all trying to decide which our favourites were. But this is just beautiful, isn't it? These are jelly rolls or design strips. They're the width of the fabric. So they're normally 42, 43 inches wide and they're two and a half inches across. I've got less than 10 now. I've got less than 10. I'll just finish put, fanning those out and then I'll show you the quilt that was on the wall earlier. You know what, if you were to go into a shop and saw all those fabrics together, you wouldn't think necessarily about putting them all together, would you? But look, isn't that just stunning? Just do the coffee beans, someone called that one. I think it was Tim called that one coffee beans, didn't they? The dog tooth one. That was Hannah's favourite, I think, wasn't it? There you go, there you go. There's all your fabrics there. Beautiful, aren't they? Thank you. And if you missed the eight o'clock show, this is the quilt we had hanging on the wall behind me, made of that design roll. Oh, 
Obviously, there's a square of blue in the center, but the rest are all those beautiful, beautiful fabrics. <gasps> Gorgeous. Now, just pop that over here. Sorry, I've just got to go off shot. Thank you. Right. Another way of using the uh, design rolls would be, here we go. These are House of Alistair. Now, I've not worked with uh, Alistair yet. These are lovely. These are temples. They're made of wood. Aren't they lovely? They're called isosceles trapeziums. So I knew what an isosceles triangle was. I didn't know what an isosceles trapezium was. So this is, your, this is your template for your cardboard. That's your template for your cardboard. And then the, that's your temp. So what happens is that cardboard fits inside there. So you know that's the cardboard for this one. And then this one, I'm presuming, there you go, is the cardboard to fit inside that one. So you don't get the fabric, obviously, but you do get this three-piece set. Isosceles trapezium wooden templates from the House of Alistair, £9.99. Aren't they? And they're lovely. The thing is, it looks beautiful as well. As well as being functional, it looks beautiful as well, doesn't it? That's nice, isn't it? Very practical. So they're one and a half inch, those. Well, actually, there could be... Now, again, where have they measured it from, you see? Let me just check, because... I think it's that bit there, but let's just double-check. No, because that's just over an inch there. There you go, one and a half that way. His measures is that way, one and a half that way. But then, you see, that one would be bigger, wouldn't it? Because that's two. Anyway, I love them. I think they're gorgeous. They're so, that'd make a lovely present, wouldn't it? House of Alistair. Look at the, there. I'll move the fabric out of the way. Look. I'm putting wood on wood here, so I don't know if you're going to see it, but hang on. There you go. Let me show you that better. There you go. There you go. Fluff everywhere. House of Alistair, London, 9 99 Right, what other shapes have I got? Well, I've got these. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, is that pent? Or is it hex? Hang on. Thought it was pent again, because it's the building, isn't it? Uh, one and a half inches again. Three different sections. Oh, come on, John, there you go. What, because of all the fl Yes, I'm fussy cutting the reds. I was trying to think about the fluff, got a lot of fluff. Obviously, these are bigger than the design roll. Yeah, you couldn't use a design roll for this one. You'd have to have proper fabric for that one. Not proper fabric, but fabric in pieces, fat quarters. I just love the way he's made them out of this lovely, um, it's like a soft wood. Use that shape a lot, they're ideal, aren't they? But they just look so beautiful. There we go. Oops. Okay, next. Hexes. Anushka, good morning, Han. I'll be trying to find the sewing quarter app for my phone. Have we got one yet? Can't find one. Are you guys making one soon? Lots of love, Anushka. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to, I'll ask, because the management, oh, no, it's not Monday, is it? I'm thinking it's Monday today. Can we write it down? We'll write it down, Anushka. Thank you for that. 9.99. House of Alistair, one and a half inch hexagon wooden templates. I think they just look lovely. I love the way they've been almost aged and tempered. Nine pounds and 99 pence. There you go. No. It would, but there's been no seam. Oh, no, no, you've got no seam allowance. You've got no seam allowance now. Right. Let me put that one back there. And that one goes there. They're lovely. I look forward to doing my first House of Alistair show. Right. So that's... 
Oh, now. It's like you with. Oh, Haley didn't finish that one. This... Oh, see, it's not finished that one. So here's the finished one in Tilda fabric. A bowl. Now, so these are pentagons, these ones. One, two, three, four, five. These ones are made of pentagons. So what you do with this one is you, you see, this is it with the English papers. You leave the card, you leave the card in with these. So you cover your fabrics, your, your cardboarding fabric, you stitch them all around the center one like that. And then what you do is you've got one where you've sewn them all up the side seams like that. And then you do the same with this one. And then that would fit in there like that. And then you'd stitch around the edge. See, they would all be stitched in place on the ones on the inside. See, that's a bit of fussy cutting. Look, they've got the cabbage flower right at the bottom of that one. Right, I've got these in a packet. Oh, well, there's more than just the bowl. Oh, yeah, they say, yeah. Paper piecing bowls. Let me just move that out of the way. Oh. oh, Jackie, it's um, raspberries, strawberries, and blackberries. Thank you. I think it's the shirt that's making me look thinner today. Or maybe it's making me nasty towards the camera crew. I don't know which way. No. Yeah. Right. So now you get white ones and you get natural coloured ones in here. Well, no, these are the ones you leave in the bowls. The natural ones are the ones you leave in the bowls. Then the other ones, because look at all the instructions you get. Oh, maybe you leave them all in. Hang on, let's have a look. Oh, no, you must leave them in all of them. Look, because you've got the square bowls. You've got the diamond bowls. The hexi bowls. The pentagon bowls the sunflower bowls, and the triangular bowls. Right, oh yes, hang on. Where's the front cover? So there's the pentagon ones for the bowls there. They're the pentagon ones. Oh, sorry, they're the pentagon ones. Then you've got your, uh, this one is these. With those as bottoms, that's your bottom. Then you've got your hexy one. What's this one? That's a nice one there, isn't it? Oh, that one's got a lid, look. So that must be the lid, and they must be the sides. And then that's the diamond bowl there. I wonder how many you can make out of it. Let me just give it a quick read. Sizes vary by bowl between four and seven inches. So there must be one of each, a pentagon one, a sunflower one, a triangular one, a square one, a diamond one, a hexy one with lid. That's the one we were just looking at at the front there. So one, two, three, four, five, six different bowls you get in that kit. How much is it? 16.99. That's fantastic, isn't it? Right, the papers are not removed out of any of them. So they're not reusable for any, but you could just copy them onto your cornflake packet, couldn't you? Yeah, people multi-buying this one. And again, they come with the instructions if you've not done it before. Now you see this size, I could deal with this size. Because look, there's no heart shapes in that one there, all the curved, but this size, you see, I'd be quite happy. Look. That one's too big, I think, yeah, that one's too big. But look, you see, now, what you do is, obviously this is too, slightly too big, this one. So you would put your glue along here, fold it over. This is obviously too, this is obviously too, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, use glue, you can uh, tack it, and then you run the glue along that one, and that one folds over like that. Obviously with only quarter inch seam allowance, you wouldn't waste all that fabric, so you cut it there. Let's have a look there with your quarter inch team allowance. And then, um, then you've got your little square that you can stitch to anything else. Nice little um, 
box with the lid on would be nice in the cave, wouldn't it? In fact, they'd all look lovely in the cave. Beautiful. Yes, so Hannah, your house is a mess all the time, isn't it? Your little sideboard, not your sideboard, your dressing table. Good for your earrings and your necklaces and your bangles. Hair scrunchies. Cotton wool balls when you're taking your makeup off the next day. Cotton tips, you shouldn't use those. Everyone does, I know. We all say we shouldn't, but we all do, don't we? Right. Like that, like that. Sixteen ninety-nine. Right, hang on. I'll put those away because I don't want them all to get confused. Lots of people multi-buying on that kit. Not surprised. Not surprised. Yeah, I'll put her back. Joe's up there. She's coming up at the weekend, I think. Look, the doll that looks like Joe Carter. Well, Hannah sent her a message on Instagram saying, um, did you always want to be a ballerina? And she didn't really reply to it. I didn't understand it either. But the little doll is a ballerina, but it's definitely Joe Carter. I'll show it to you now when I get this on it. Look, look. Look at the hairline and the face. That's her. It's her, isn't it? Oh, and that, well, that's the weekend, I think, isn't it, did you say? Yeah, that's the weekend, Saturday at the weekend. Joe's new doll. Right, now this one here, this one looks interesting. Because this is brilliant if you want to do a bit of, oh, oh, oh. Well, they're all loose in the bag, this one, look. It's called a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Right, oh, there's more. That's the instructions. So. That is not that song. Right, so what you can do on this one, a little, that was my magic trick then for that. This tells you how to do everything you need to do. You've got circles, you've got diamonds. Look. You've got um, uh, tumbling blocks. Look, here it is, here it is, here it is. It's got lots and lots of different blocks you can then put together to create a wall hanging or a baby's blanket. Finish size is 30 inches by 36 inches. All the different shapes in there. It'd be cute, that, wouldn't it? And I'd, let me just show you the finished thing again. It's, very, it's small, but it's there on the front of there. <coughs> nice, isn't it? Tumbling blocks, the flower. It's just brilliant, the love hearts there. Obviously, there's no fabric included. You have to supply your own fabric. <coughs> Cute, isn't it? That's lovely. That's really lovely. And all the pieces you need. Uh, and you take the pieces out of that as well. You won't leave the cardboard in. <coughs> Excuse me, and you will have the opportunity to use them again. Right, I've got lots to show you here still. Can I do those um, templates over there? They look like creative grids. Give me a sec. I've got to do this first. Um, <coughs> I haven't got a ruler to show you how to do this, but if you're cutting something, actually, excuse me. <coughs> If you're, cutting, if you're cutting fabrics using a creative grid ruler, I've got a straight one. This is brilliant, right? So if you want to cut that into sections, you know normally you'd have to move it all on the floor. This rotating cutting mat is br absolutely brilliant. I'll just see if there's a ruler here. Let me just show you, have a look. No, don't worry, don't worry. But then you can just move it like this. It comes in, when you get your, when you get your mat, it comes in two, two sections. See, so this one has got then, this one's got a non-slip bottom on it. This is a bit kind of scrappy now because it's the one we use all the time and our designers use all the time. Just place that down, you clip that in, and then you can just move the board. So you, you don't, you're not moving your fabric. So if you've got that on there with a the ruler and a, you can just move it around so you're not moving the fabric at all, just slicing through it. But what I was going to show you was... If you're cutting out a hexi from a creative grid. Wrong way up, John. Finished now, thank you. So, 
if you're cutting, because first of all, they're creative grids, so they're see-through. So if you're fussy cutting, they'd be brilliant. Secondly, they don't move, because once you, you see that resin big section in the middle there, that resin section is the two-inch one, doesn't move at all. Your cardboard will have been that size inside there. Um, they're the dots that you can line it all up with. But I won't cut it because I haven't got a rotary cutter open. But if you use a rotary cutter, said rotary cutter, hand there, you can slice that one and that one. Then rather than move anything, you just move the whole lot round, cut that one and cut that one, move the whole lot round, cut that one and then cut that one. So you've not moved your ruler, you've not moved your fabric, you've just moved your rotating cutting mat. There it is, 32.99. Now don't forget, you're not just getting one ruler for 22 pound 50. You're getting four, oh, there you go, there you go. You're getting four of them. Brilliant, isn't it? Look, there you go. Like I say, they've got the non-slip resin underneath each of them in that big central bit there. Twenty-two pounds and fifty pence. Remember, you can buy on the web, sayingcourse.com, or ring the call centre, oh eight hundred one one two forty four thirty three. But remember, put them in your basket. Does not guarantee that you get them. You're only guaranteed getting them once you've checked out or once you've spoken to the call centre. They're nice, though, aren't they? They're lovely, those. And you get the four different sizes as well. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. Right. Fabulous. So put that on. Right, these, the Liberty Charm squares, they're two and a half inch squares, not five inch squares, two and a half inch squares. Um, very, very popular in the purple. We've only got them in the purple, but very, very popular. They're just little two and a half inch squares. Beautiful if you're giving them as a gift. Because if you remember, um, Alice Caroline works with Liberty. So these are all traditional Liberty prints, but done in colorways that Alice Caroline has designed in conjunction with Liberty. We can't guarantee how many of each, because if you can see, you get three of those in this one. Um, it could be a mix, but it will be purple, obviously. We can't guarantee which ones you'll get and when you'll get, uh, not when, but you know which, which ones you get and how many you get of each one. Nine pounds and 99 pence. There are 36 squares in there, all two and a half inches in size. <coughs> Got a picture to show you. Oh, from Helen. Which Helen? Oh, Helen in York. That's all right then. Thanks for keeping me. Oh, my word. Thanks. Thanks for keeping me company while I take my decorations down. She's an EPP convert. Ever since, she's been able to use the glue pen. Right, we'd definitely recommend anyone to get the glue pen. Hand basting is now a thing of the past. Okay, she made this one over the Christmas break using the glue pen and hand sewing. Oh, Helen, she says, Happy New Year. Love the shows and your shirt. Happy New Year to you as well. That's Helen in York. I'll be up, oh no, I'm not going this month. Not there till February now. Anyway, 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 what haven't I done? Oh yes, I've done this. Tula free split, now look, they already come cut as hexes. She's coming in, she's coming in. I don't know what date she's coming in, but she's coming in. Oh, I know, I'll do it a different way. This is Cosmic Otter. Now what I love about this is when we did the fabrics by the half metre, we only had Cosmic Otter in one colourway. Whereas, oh, oh, in here, we've got it in lots of different colourways. Hang on, look, critters. I've only seen that in the green, I think. Oh, now look, that's one I hadn't seen before. Didn't have that one. This is the one Hannah loves. Hello, hello. So did we have that colourway? Yeah, then we've got the stone dead critters there in the orange. We've got that lovely one. Oh, do you know what? We've had this one in like the greens and the pinks. I've never seen it in the golds. That's lovely, isn't it? There's that one in colourway. Now look, there's the Cosmic Otters. Look. 18.99 these are. Uh, there, now we've had that colourway in the fabric. That sold out by the half metre. We had that one sold out by the half metre. Oh, didn't, was it not that one we had? Oh no, I've just seen the one we had. Yeah, no, no, I've seen the one we had. Um, how cute is this? 
And then we've got that. We, that's the one we had. That's the Cosmic Otter one we had. Then we had, oh, look, that's lovely, that one, isn't it? That's the one we had. That was the st That's the one we had. Nice, they're lovely. Oh, we did that one at the right at the beginning. I think it must have sold out straight away. Though. Look at that. I'm loving these polar bear ones. But look, that's nice as well. That's the big birds. Uh, where does that one go? There, I've done the wrong pile in that one. That one, beautiful. How many of those? Do oh, hang on, it doesn't say. Six, 42, more like. 42 hexes. That's a piece of cardboard, that one. I'll take that one out. Uh, eight, 18 pounds and nine. We've got so many questions to ask, haven't we? Cosmic otter, flowers with faces, ladybirds. At 18 pounds and 99 pence. They're lovely, aren't they? They're already cut out for you in the hexy shape. Do you know what? I think they'd just be lovely all sewn together, wouldn't they? <gasps> That'd be beautiful. We like that. So 18 pounds and 99 pence will give you 42, did I just say? 42 hexes in the whole range, it seems. Oh, look. Sorry, I'm just going to be a little bit. Um, tumbling block? No. <laughs> it's a version of the tumbling block. Oh, lovely. Look at those. Right, stop being so self-indulgent, John. Message from Rebecca. Oh, in capital letters. He shouted. She's shouting at me. Dear John, you are so in quarter. Thank you for making me laugh so much. Oh, thank you. She said thousands of people understand what you're on about. Love, Rebecca. Oh, now look how you spell Rebecca. Rebecca, thank you so much, Rebecca. It's all right. We can't be everybody's friend, can we? Can't please everybody all the time. Took me a long time to learn that, but there you go. Um, I don't know why that came, isn't that, that was for the last hour, wasn't it, that one? Okay. Um, which one do you want now? Marking. Right, have I got a piece of black fabric then, Munch, to write these on? Um, the blue, the blue oh, the blue, that's too pale, my lovely. Oh, mind. oh, it's not Munch, Munch isn't here. Sorry, Munch. <laughs> It looks a lot like Munch, but taller, not difficult. Um, right. So line, marking pencils. <sighs> Pink. Also, I've also got it in white today. It does come in other colours, which you can get on the website. Um, and this hat comes with the refills, with refills. And I'll show you how it works now. So this is the pink one. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let me just show you here. It's like the old fashioned, um, we used to have these for school, well I did anyway. You press the button at the end there, and you can see at this end here, the, lead, the pink lead is coming through. You can then use it to mark up patterns. Now, I'm not sure if you'll see that at home. No, <laughs> no. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't, by the time you've run there and all the way back on your little legs, Michael. I oh, know you can't, you make, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Just, hashtag, hashtag. Anyway, anyway, it's really good. What, there's also uh, an eraser in here. The button that you press is a rubber. So if you want to rub it out, you can do. And like I said, you've got the refills in the pack. So this is the pink one. I've also today, oh, actually, let me try writing with the white one. Can you see the white ones there? It's very, very good if you're doing very fine pattern drafting or something like that. Or you're drawing up your cross-stitching lines on your fabric that you want to, to quilt on. That's the one. Now, the white one does come exactly the same as that with the refills and everything. I just haven't got one in the packet today. $9.99. So like, oh, and also to get the lead back in, right, you just press the button at that end and push the lead back in that way. Started with the glue pen, let's finish with the glue pen. 
I didn't do the rotary cutter. There was a lovely rotary cutter there as well, but I'll do that later. Right, glue pen. This is a blue one. Very, very useful. As we just heard from Helen, she's made a whole, um, that lovely quilty over wall hanging, EPP wall hanging over Christmas. So line fabric glue pen. This hat comes to you. It's already got glue in it and it does come with a refill. Okay. This is your pen. Now remember, it's bright blue, but it does dry clear. You can also sew through it and it comes with one refill. Uh, so you've got two there to use. But if you use all that up, which I'm no doubt you will do, we also sell the refills. There at the bottom there, two pounds and 49 pence. There, now they are blue, but as I say, they, I don't know why they put pink at the bottom because they're blue inside. Two pounds and 49 pence, very useful. Hannah loves them. Every time we go anywhere, she goes, should we see if they've got any glue pens? She could get one here, but should we see if they've got glue pens? Should we see if they've got glue pens? You make the day when you tell everyone off. Lots of love from Jane in Wigan. Jane, I'm not shouting at them. I was shouting at Lucy, actually, not Mike, what's that? Oh, Jackie, quickly. Hi, John, love the banter. I think the nicknames are brilliant. You and Lucy work so well together, always make me smile. Oh, she's a nightmare, that Lucy. She's such a diva. Oh, she's here. She's here. Don't, I'll get complaints, I'll get complaints. Don't go anywhere, watch the adverts. Lucy's coming, she's making this. She's gonna make the whole of this in one act. It's got log cabin, courthouse steps. I know those, I know those. I'm gonna show you how to do it. No, Lucy's gonna show you them. I could have made it, but Lucy's quicker. She's cheaper. See you in three. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Hi, I'm Tilly Rose and here are my three top tips. The first would be to actually be in the moment. Allow yourself to uh, be surrounded by all those lovely fabrics and cloth and thread and just take time out. Enjoy your stitching, whether that's machine embroidery or free motion or slow stitching. Just allow yourself to connect with the thread and cloth and you'll enjoy the projects much more. So my second tip would be to allow yourself to go wrong. Give yourself permission to make mistakes because we all learn from our mistakes. Um, I've been sewing for a very, very long time and I still make loads and loads of mistakes. Um, but that's okay, because you can use those small little pieces in other projects later on down the line, um, but it's good, it's okay. So my third tip would be quite simply, break all the rules. Um, if you want to experiment with different threads or different fabric, um, you might have read in a pattern or something that maybe you shouldn't do that, um, I would say, yeah, break the rules. And that's how you learn to allow your creativity to um, come through in your designs. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. We have a special treat for you on Saturday the 6th of January with Jo Carter's brilliant new show. She'll be sewing this adorable ballerina toy as featured in the latest issue of Simply Sewing magazine. This delightful toy is the latest in Jo's amazing series of plush creations in super soft shades of pastel pink. With her dainty net skirt, felt hair tied up in a bun and embroidered features, you'll love sewing this toy for someone special. So tune in on Saturday the 6th of January for the start of a brilliant new year of sewing treats from Jo Carter. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.
That ballerina is the spitting image of Joe Carter, isn't it? She says it's not her at all, but everyone in the room went, oh my goodness, it's Joe Carter in a bat. She should, well, they somebody should, was it you, Lucy? He said, she should do the whole show in a, in a tutu. In a tutu, one of those little crossover cardies, those little cashmere crossover cardies that tie around the back. Anyway, she won't. Um, have a look at this. Have you got a picture of the quilt? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're going to do Lucy, not we. Lucy is going to do this quilt. Now, as you can see, in the middle there's a log cabin, four of them all facing into each other. Then you've also got courtyard steps, but they're all different, aren't they? There's two, that, one, courthouse, what did I say? Oh, no, courthouse, sorry. Like steps, grey steps, five, six, seven, eight, with the purple. Then you've got some with uh, steps with the ochre and the grey and the purple. I think it's lovely. Anyway, we've done three bundles for you. This is Lucy's very own design, remember? So you can make it and go, oh, it's Lucy Brennan original, darling. Um, which one would you like to see first? The one that you can see the quilt made out of. Now, what this is, is you get seven metres of fabric, right? Seven metres of fabric. You get a metre of each fabric. So you can decide where each one goes. So if you think of Lucy's all, I didn't, wouldn't have purple squares in the middle. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> Seven metres of fabric. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, you've got forest fruits. Yeah, sulphur, mercury, zinc. I've got two missing there. No. Lemon and the darker grey. Darker grey. Zinc. Oh, there's two zincs. That's zinc and that's zinc, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you also get the instructions. You also get thread for £55, and Lucy's expertise, for £55 and 99 pence. Okay? Then I've got two other colourways. Now, which one are you making? You're making this middle one, aren't you, here? This is the one Lucy's about to demonstrate with. Gorgeous colours. Really, really lovely colours. <clears throat> this is more um, pinky and jewel-like, this one, isn't it? What we should have done is we should have photoshopped the picture on there into that colourway so we could have seen what it looked like. But aren't they? Well, you'll see to see it at the end of the hour because Lucy's going to make one. So again, you get a metre of each fabric, seven metres. Baby pink. Berry, azalea, damson, magenta, bright yellow, plus the instructions, plus the pink thread. Fifty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. And then, last but not least, now I might be, I might be wrong saying this, but this I'd say this is more kind of masculine. -y, this colour range, I might be completely wrong. Normally, am. Oh, Hannah sees the seaside. There you go. Just shows you what different things you see. That's because Hannah's house overlooks the crashing waves of the sea. It's called. Oh, it's called nicely nautical. That's why you think it's the sea. Nicely nautical. So you've got blue. You've 55 pounds and 99 pence, the blue one, with the instructions, with the thread, 55 pounds and 99 pence. There's cornflower, Vienna orange, antique white, indigo, cream, pearl blue, and ocean. Thread and instructions. Have a look at the picture. Right. So, Lucy Brennan, she's just complained because she hasn't got a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> they call you two rulers Lucy, apparently, upstairs. Oh, very nice. We've got two um, <laughs> log cabin trim tools today to show you as well, haven't we? Yeah. In fact, I've got three. No, we've got two. That's, that's, fine. that's yours. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Not like no, you I'm to bring it. your own. <laughs> Smaller one here is the log cabin trim tool. Lucy's going to show you how to use these in the yes. hour. I'll put some fabric behind when we talk through it. That's an eight inch finish. That's, oh, no, no, that's sorry. not. No, that's not the right. That's, that's not the right one. graphics. This is the eight that's inch the one. That's the eight inch one. Do you want me to get the six and 12? This is the no, six and 12. Just changed. This one, this one is the six and 12 inch because it says 12 inch and six inch on yes. it. Oh. So you can make big ones and then you can make this. You could do like four smaller ones with the same size as yeah. the big one. Yeah, so that's handy. That's a really good one to have. 24 pounds and 99 pence. And then I've got the eight-inch one. So if you don't want to make an eight-inch log cabin, then use the eight-inch ruler. And it's, it's brilliant, this ruler. It's so brilliant for lining up and trimming down and everything when you're doing log cabins. 
and courthouse steps. Yeah, and that's a nice size if you want to do cushions or something as well, because you get a 16-inch yes, cushion. Yes, because you put eight, 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 eight. Right. Exactly. Off you go then, woman. Okay. Where do you start? Woman. You start by deciding on which colours you want to go where. Okay. And how do you do that? So you can have a look at the pattern that comes with the bundles. Right. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Or then. just look I at just the... I just need the stand to put it on. That's look all. at the quilt. You're dropping thread. So you could photocopy that in black and white, couldn't you? And then yes, colour it and in colour it colours. in. Yes, you could do it that way. Because the number of blocks that you need to make depends on, I mean, sorry, it's the positioning of the fabric. Right. Do you see what I mean? So you're going to do four of those, but you want to know which colours are going to go where. Yes, because exactly. if you change the colours, you're going to get a different colour. Yeah, pattern. so if you change the colours, you're going to might get a three prong star in the middle and then yes. one colour a different so colour. So you need to very much focus on your colour placement with right. this um, pattern. Okay. So if you're doing one of the other, you know, if you're going for that bundle, obviously yeah. it's clear yeah. if you're using one of the other ones you need to decide which goes okay, where. Then. In each of the bundles there is a slightly contrasting colour so there's one that stands out more so in the blue one it would be the orangey colour yes in this one it's going to be the yellow, yellow. and in the other one it's the purple so right. whichever colour is the different one is going to become the centre of your log cabin block. Right. So the quilt is um, made up of two different blocks, right? log cabin and courthouse steps. So your log cabin is this one here, yep. and then your courthouse steps is this one here, so it yes. goes outwards. So a courthouse steps is a variation of a log cabin. Just the uh, placement of the strips of fabric yep. is, in, is different. But you're actually making um, a variety of blocks. So this one, for example, has the yellow either side, this one's got the yellow and the grey. This one's just the grey. So it tells you in the pattern how many of each one you okay. need to make. Yeah. So that okay. one you've just pointed to is called Modern Mustard. That's what they call that bundle. Not your block, oh, right. the, the bundle. Okay, sorry. sorry. Yes, yeah. Modern Mustard. Um, and the okay. one that you're using to sew is called Very Berry. Okay. So with this one, the yellow is going to become the centre. So on there, on there, which is, which is yeah, the yellow is the same as that? It's the purple. Oh, that purple. So on this one, all of this... Yes. And that are going to be yellow. Or yes. could you have yellow there and a different colour down there if you wanted? You could if you wanted to. It's okay. just going to give it a different look. So that's what it's up to you to decide where Look, you're going to put them. Go on. Uh, she's shouting again, Rebecca. Hi, John. You did say my name right the first time. And so lovely. It's like Robert. Love, Rebe Rebecca. Loving the show with you and Lucy. Oh, she's oh, shouting that. That's though. lovely. I like her shouting. Yeah. I like her name as well. It's nice, isn't it's it, different. Rebecca? Yeah. I like that. Karen. Okay. Karen. Thank you, Rebe Rebecca. Rebecca. So um, I'm using the log cabin Rebecca. trim tool too. Yes. And we're doing the 12 inch right. um, sizes. So it, it's a finished 12 inch block. Yes. Okay. Oh, which is the same as our competition ones, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Yes, it is. So um, all I've done is I've cut out my central strips. Now, on the ruler, it gives you the measurements. Right. So it's very, very easy. Obviously, you've got the instructions, so you need to keep a hold of these. That tells you how to use the ruler. Right, before we go any further, yes. just, I'm going to put this underneath the ruler. You do that. So we can, you can oh, put... Oh, that's much easier. Yes. Yes, thank you. So here it's got the measurements of what you need to cut. So right. it tells you the central square is, in this case, three and a half inches. And then you cut your strips at least two and a quarter inch wide. Why do you say at least? Because normally you quilters are so precise yes, about it. Yes, we are. But that's the joy of this is you don't need to be as precise. Okay. Now, right. I have cut them at two and a quarter and I'm now wishing I'd cut them slightly bigger. But yes. we'll get on yeah. fine. So, so jelly roll, all the design that. rolls we've had today. Exactly, perfect. Apart from the, obviously the square, but you're cutting it. So if you want to make this again yep. afterwards, you could do most of it with a jelly roll. Yes, design you roll, absolutely you? can. You're going to be trimming it back. Yeah. So there's a little bit of, you know, the wider you cut your strips, the more waste Wait. you're going to have. Yeah. Um, but so long as you don't go too okay, wide, it's, it's not very much wastage. Right. So then um, we gonna, I'm going to uh, start off doing a log cabin. And then if I've got enough time, I'll move on and do a courthouse step. Okay. okay. So I've cut um, strips from all of my fabric. And I'm going to go from... Dark to light with the pink, because that's going to be my yellows. Right. And then I'm going to go from light to dark with the 
um, so your lightest tones. pink will be the great big cross so in the middle. So my lightest pink's going to make right. up the cross. And then yeah. your darkest pink will be that kind of frame. Will be that like that dark grey. Yeah, yeah okay. the darker purple. Yeah, purple. So that yeah. one, that yeah. one's going to be the darker one. Okay. So I have intentionally done like an ombre with the fabrics. So you want to bear that in mind when you're yes. positioning because it will. You don't have to do an ombre though, do you? you can do. No, you don't. But if you want to do it the same, yes. that's what you need to yeah. do. But obviously, you can play around with it and make different things. But the different, the way you arrange these blocks will give it a completely different look. Yes. If I'd have turned these around, it would look very different yes, from of this. Course, yeah. So if you if you want it to look the same, you, you need to pay attention to your colour placement. Okay. okay. So. so then we just start. Adding strips. So now your strips are two and a quarter inches, did you say? But you haven't I've, cut them off. I've cut them two and a, two and a quarter, just the full width of the fabric, yeah. um, two and a quarter. I would say go to like two and a half. Okay. Because it just gives you a bit more leeway with your um, seam allowance. Yeah. Um, and then you, there are different ways you can do this. You can rotary cut if you want, or you can just trim with scissors. Um, as you're going along you can sew from the length of the strips if you want and to then cut off afterwards. or you can cut it down <coughs> yeah i mean okay. we're going to be trimming it back afterwards anyway so i'm just going to cut the salvages off are you using scissors i know i don't very often no. but for this one it just it just but you're not not sense. having to be precise you're not having to go well, this is exactly the no. same length so as i that can one. just cut and because we're going to be trimming it back at each step you don't have to be as accurate. The, it's like the ruler does all the work for you in terms Once of the you accuracy. Do off, yeah. yeah, which is lovely. So you're just going to sew that to that? So I'm just sewing that one to that okay. one. So just with a quarter inch seam. Morning, Lucy. This is from Wendy. Yes. Would it be a good idea to photocopy the picture, then cut out the individual block from the paper to place the colours in the right order? Say that again. Would it be a good idea to photocopy the picture? Then cut out the individual yes, blocks from the paper good. to place the colours in the right order. Yes, and you could also, if you do it that way, know how, make a note, you know, you could stick it in a little notebook, make a note of how many of that particular one you wanted to do. So, yes, very organised. That would only work what, Hannah? Do you need the iron on? Um... No, I'll be all right. You sure? Yeah, okay. I'll just go for it. Oh, just Miss, she's flying in. Oh, Annie, fine. you live in a lovely place. Hi, John, Lucy and team. I have this ruler, but couldn't work how to do it. Love you and Lucy together. Right, well, Annie, watch. Uh, watch. Watch <laughs> now, Annie. I'm Pay not attention. shouting. Helen, I'm not shouting at Annie. It's banter. Right. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> OK, so that's the first one. Yes. And then I'm going to sew the second one. Same colour. OK, same colour. So... Just sort of like, you know, I can just roughly. Now, you've got to remember, haven't you, if you're going round clockwise or anti-clockwise. Yes. Whichever way you naturally want to go, just do the same. All the time. Yeah, just do the same. Just yeah. repeat it. So I've um, just finger pressed that away from the square. And then I'm going to add the second one. Yes. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm doing a whole round and then I trim. Okay. How, well, that, that's not big enough for a double bed, is it, that one? No. I'm not sure what size it is, actually. Shall I measure it for you? You can do. Oh, no, I, actually, I think it's 48, isn't it? I think it is. It will be if it's four blocks, won't yes, it? Yes, it will. Yeah, 48 inch square. I have to go and measure my bed. Hmm? Well, I could do this one. Yes, you could. If I borrowed your ruler. You could. I'd have to come and use your cutting table and everything. My cutting table? I've got a cutting table. <laughs> dining, dining room, room table. table. Right, yeah. okay. Um, so that's that. And then we're switching to the other colour. Right. Okay, so this one I'm going dark to light. This one I'm going to go light to dark. Yeah. Although this is still fairly dark. So I'm just going to do the same thing, just trim the strips. So if you were doing this normally, sort of following a pattern, you would be measuring yes, each, yes. Of, you know, each of these. But because of this trim tool, exactly. you don't need to do you that. You don't do need you? to do that, no. And once you get the hang of this ruler, it's actually very easy. But when I first saw very it, I was easy. like, I don't understand, I don't understand. But it is, when Lucy starts to trim this off, you'll see how it works. Yeah. So 
So I'm not worried if this has gone over, I'm not worried about no. it. And then I'm going to trim this off in line. I mean, you can use your ruler and your rotary cutter or, you know, just... You don't have to trim that off, do you? Oh, no, you do. Well, it just makes yes, it easier. You, you, you don't have to. You can go over it if you want, but I'm not as confident sewing that... <laughs> you and Lucy lovely. are fabulous. Lucy, I love the way you just go for it, as you say, me too. <laughs> Oh, good. Lovely Lorraine. That's Lorraine. Crazy yeah. Lorraine. Just go for it. I mean, the, the, what's the worst that can happen? It goes horribly wrong. You just unpick it, yeah. you know. So, again, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave a... Bigger bit. A bigger bit, so you can really see. Yeah. So, I'm just working my way round and then sewing this one's here. Okay. All my seams are going outwards from the central square. Okay. And that helps as well give that sort of illusion of it coming out, which is nice. How did you get, you, you've come to us from the magazine, haven't you? Yes. How did they find you originally then? Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you, you're a lucky know. find, aren't you really? Oh, I know you're well known within the, but in the quilting <laughs> world. I mean, you're well known and everything, but do you know what I mean? It's like they say, isn't it, pop stars, there's a, for every one that makes a star, there's a thousand. We don't get oh, discovered, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, no, but you know what I mean? It's like, you can be the best quilter in the world, but somebody may never, ever discover you. You might be happy quilting away. Yeah. I don't know about the magazines. I'm trying to think what the first thing I did was. I don't actually right. remember. I've made too many, it's sewn so too many things yes. now. Right. So now, I'm Annie, this is where you have to watch now. Okay, so now I'm going to press. Yes. Because I want to press Oh, you do before... want the iron on. Yes. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Done. That's right. Oh, we'll just do that. I'll just no, talk no, no. for a minute. Floor um, normally put the iron on. That's yeah. Awesome. It's just because if you don't press at this point and then you cut, you, your fabric can shift more. So to make sure that you keep that accuracy, and I mean, I'm finger pressing as I go along, but before I actually trim, yeah. I want to press, press so that everything stays, you know, um, as it should, sort of a thing. But you can start to see how that's going to build up. Just wait for the little red light yeah, to go Yeah, that's off. okay. Colours are gorgeous together, aren't they? Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily really nice. think about putting the yellow in the middle of the pinks, but it looks so beautiful. Is it right? Well, yellow, yellow is traditionally, um, is a traditional centre colour for a log cabin. Oh, is it? Yeah, it was either red or yellow. So red is like for the... Um, Heart of the home for like that, um, and the yellows for like the light. I was going to say my heart. Don't my heart's not yellow. There's something <laughs> dreadfully wrong with my heart. Is yellow. So it's sunshine. The it's, yellow. I is think the it's sunshine. like the yellow is like the light of the home to guide you home or something like uh, that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like a lighthouse. Still very lovely. Like a lighthouse. Yeah. Lighthouse of love. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound lighthouse quite right. Of right. Love. Shh, shh, shh. Annie, Annie, Annie. This is where you have to watch now. I'll shut okay. up. Okay. And I have to pay attention yeah. to what I'm doing. So all you need to do now is line up, my seam's gone slightly bigger, um, line up the square and trim. But hang on, what have you lined it up with though? What, because there's lots of squares on yeah, there. Yeah, just the square. I think on this one it's um, two. No, it's not so... yellow, it's black on the ruler. No, I know you're lining up your square in the middle there, Hannah, but there's three squares on here. And I didn't know which of those squares to line up. She's saying, with the yellow one, John, you line up with the yellow one. The different one. Yeah. What the yellow one? Oh, on the yellow the, square. Yeah. The yeah. Right. Um, and then you've got lines there that you can match up your seams with. Do you see? Right, yeah. So that's going to shift. So I just need to press that down. And then you've got that um, grip all the, the way around as well. Yeah. And all these circles yeah. are grip. So you're just going to press so, that So before down. you cut it, before yes. you cut it, you've lined up the central, the central square in yes. there, which is the black square. Yeah. You've lined that up with your central square. Yes. Pressed it down so it doesn't move. So you know that where you're going to cut here and here are where you can chop it off now. Yeah. Which is why it doesn't matter if, you, if your strips aren't precise. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. Now, if you... Um, if you have this and you are getting confused by it, the easiest way of thinking about it is, so long as I've done one round all the way around, so I've got my central square and I've got four strips all the way around. If I put that square on, obviously- It's gonna be wrong. It's gonna be wrong. If I put that square on, I've nothing to trim. Yeah. 
Do you see what I mean? Yeah. If I put so as you're going along, you you just find the square that's going to mean oh I'm just trimming a yes, small exactly. amount off. Do you see? Yeah. And then if you turn it around, these other squares offer if I was to make a six inch one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I hope that helps, Andy. Yeah, I hope that helps. So I'm just going to line that up. Line my. So you're lining your seams up. up with the dotted lines with as well. With the dotted well. so lines all as well. Straight, yeah. yeah. And then I can go ahead and cut. And then you need to do the other side as yes. well. So you're lifting the ruler and you're turning your block completely round. Completely round. Okay. Obviously, you can't um, trim all the sides at, the at once. Yeah. So you do you do two and then turn it over and do the other two. Okay. Um, I think Hannah's saying, would you use the rotating cutting mat? I think this would be a bit big. Yeah, it's a bit too to be big. on the rotating cutting mat, wouldn't it's it? It's a bit too big. Right, so now that is your central circle, your central round, but with yeah. seam allowance on here. Yeah, so I've got one round yes. with the seam allowance. And that, I mean, you could use that on its own, couldn't you? If you wanted to. If you wanted to, yeah. But we'll keep going yeah. and do another round. So the next, so I'm just continuing and I'm going in the same so starting in the same place. Yes, you don't want yeah. to start here. So the the um, bit that I'm sewing has the two. Two. Oh, that's the only one with two seams. Seams. Yeah. yeah. So now you're going to a different colour now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So I'm using a different colour. So I'm sticking with my sort of ombre um, look. I can just trim that off. Okay. Um, no, Miss, just come through. Uh, oh, uh, Gerardine has sent an email in. What's the gist of it? <gasps> My daughter's got engaged. Oh, now, congratulations. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Her son's oh. called Gerard, so what's her daughter called? Oh. Oh, Amy. Oh, I was going to say it's been Dina or something like that. Um, she got married in, uh, not married, uh, engaged in Iceland. Oh. It's a good job she's got this ruler. She's going to start saving for the wedding. So she's going to make all the wedding favours, the table runners, oh, the bunting, wow. with all. Because she's got about 15 rulers She now. has, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. But she'll still have to buy a new one every now and again. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> she doesn't want to get withdrawal symptoms, creative grids. When's the wedding? That's so exciting. Uh, well, you're not invited, Hannah, no. We'll be coming to yours by then, I imagine. Oh, no, I've got Jay's first. Jay's, yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what I'm making the wedding ring? I'm wedding dress. I'm making the wedding dress. Are you? Well, it's news to me, but yes. Oh, right, nice. He'll be watching. Love it. Yeah. I'll have to do a wedding quilt, won't I? Yeah. Maybe I could design one with a quilted hem. Do you know what would be brilliant? It would look like one of those lovely traditional... If you quilted the hem, it would just hold the... Be oh, that's a good idea, actually. It would. Can you quilt silk? Are you good at quilting silk? Um, I know you can I'd, do it. I, I haven't ever. I'll do use dupe on, so it's I good don't to see do. why not. No. I'll give it a go. Right? Or we could do a team effort could. for Danny's wedding dress. Okay, so I'm moving on. Right, stay watching, Annie, because we'll now show you how to do the second round when we've done yeah. the whole round. Round two. Ding, so, ding. round two. It's, e you know, I find it easier to think about it in terms of rounds. Yeah. Um, I think the thing with. Um, this one is you're doing a lot of um, cutting and piecing before you actually come to use the the ruler. The ruler. Yeah. So I'm just continuing sewing around. Is there ever a time you don't want to sew? Because it's your relaxation, isn't it? Yeah. I've noticed. Yeah. Um, no, not really. I had two days off over Christmas, took Christmas Day off and I took New Year's Day But you off. don't think of it as a job, do you? It's, you, 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 it's your love, no, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's my passion. So those were the two days that I didn't do any sewing. And that's, it, that's very, very rare. Um, and it sort of was nice to have a break, but by the next day I was like, oh, I really need to get, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need oh. to get back to it. Because you find joy in... A piece of fabric and things, don't you? You can, you can yeah. see one piece of fabric. I mean, you see me, I literally, I get giddy. I get really, really silly about fabric, but I just, I do, I love it. I love the tactileness of it. And the, the tactility. real... Tactility. Tactility. 
Is the, that a word? No. Okay. The reason that I have an English degree, it's not. The reason so that... Do I. <laughs> well, then you should know. <laughs> so I was a trained teacher. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. The reason that I um, started was because after um, my second baby, because I wanted something, I wanted to be able to, to produce something, to make something and see it. You just produced a baby. I, I think know, that's but it, like, it wasn't enough. Because of those days, enough. those endless days of babiness, yes. you know, as, wonder, as wonderful and joyous as they are, you, you, there's no... Um, not not instant gratification that's an awful thing no, to say but you know, you know yeah. it just gets a bit tiresome so also what some of my friends say and they obviously love their babies enormously yes. you don't see another adult and it's kind of like no. it the whole world becomes about a baby which is fantastic because that's the nurture of it but yeah. you do also have to have something for yourself don't you and then i found all the quilt blogs and everything and that was and that oh, was it so you hadn't done anything before that really then uh, just embroidery and stuff, yeah. not um, quilting. That's what really set me off. So I'm doing the final one now. Yeah. Now you can, if you find it, you can sew from this side so you can see your seams also from that side. With the last one, it, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter which edge, but as you're going around, you can see, I know I'm going to attach another piece here. Yes. So I lined up the edge there with, with that one. But you can't go far wrong, no. can you? So this is the final piece of round two. Somebody um, just put on social media, you, you should put a squeaker in that bear's nose. You know how you yeah. did that? You could put a little squeaker in it. That would annoy it. you no, to the be... nth degree. <laughs> and then you'll get a pet dog or a pet cat to realise it's there as well. And I'll just go up and play with it all the time. <laughs> It might be nice if you've got a cat, you might want to make no. it a little cushion. You don't want it? noise all the time. No, you don't. Well, Gerardine, when is it? <laughs> oh, hang on, I've got a question for Wendy first. Hello, Lucy, is there enough leftover fabric to do a pillow sham? Sorry for all the questions. Wendy, that's what we're here don't for, apologize. to answer your questions, my love. Yeah, no, don't apologise. Um, I'm trying to I remember. know, because you'd make the backing out of the leftover fabric. You make the, yes, and the binding. However, there, there might be some small pieces so you might get one cushion out of it. I remember from this one, I had more of a certain colour. colour. So depending on where you put the fabric, yes. you'll have more left over of another. Yes. You, you should have enough small pieces to do it. And a, if you backed it in a completely a different fabric. If you backed it in a different one, then absolutely You'll have plenty will. to do yes. pillow shams. Because the backing of this I'd made from the four. I don't know if I actually did it, John. Oh. But did I? Yes, I did, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> Hold your end up. I did. Well, if we lift it right up, can you see it's got four colours in it there? So that's what's left over. Yeah, so I used four of the largest pieces. I pieced them together to make the backing. So if I you like had a that. different backing nice. fabric, yeah. you'd have enough. I think I used all the purple. There might have only been a tiny bit. So whatever is your well, main colour, like yeah. whatever is your main colour, you might not have so much of that. Yeah. That's the only one. I need to just press this. Uh, Gerardi's thinking June 2019. Oh, that's, that gives you some time. It's only a year and a half away. Well, yeah, that's, that's enough time to do... No, what was she saying? She'd be making There's constantly. quite a lot of things, How many people it? are you having, though? You're singing things. Have you got an embroidery yeah. machine to do all the um, napkins? You have to do napkins, napkins with their initials on, don't you? Oh my goodness. Serviettes, what do you call them? Paper napkins or they serviettes? I don't know. I didn't have any of that when I got married. Yes, yes, the French wedding, they give napkins with names oh, on. Lovely. Right, Annie, oh, Annie, we're at, the nice. we're at that stage again, so I'll be quiet while she does this. Okay. So we're on the um, second round. So that's a different square then? So it's a different square. So the first round was this square, yeah. the black one, yeah. and now we're going to the white one. Okay. I've made my seam allowance slightly too small. I've gone a bit scant, I think. Oh. But there we go. So you're lining up that dotted line and you've got your square on these yeah. lines here, okay? And then we can trim that back. And then we lift the ruler, turn your block and trim. Now, if you forget which way you've turned it, let me just show you. So if I line that up now there, I've already, I know I've already trimmed that one. Yes. Do you see? Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, so you need to go around twice. So yeah. I need to go around again, yeah. Nothing drive, Tanner. 
I mean, you can do it side by side, but you might as well do the two at Yeah, yeah, exactly. Once. Morning, John and Lucy. Loving the show as always. Just received the checked fabric you modelled so well. I wore a shirt that Paul made the other day. Just received oh, the fabric that, that you modelled so well the other day. I thought it looked a bit fat in it. That's why people think I've lost weight. It's like when you wear, no, no, when you wear an untucked shirt, it does that, doesn't it? Like this. Yeah, like that. You don't look fat, <laughs> anyway. Well, I did have somebody say, was I expecting? Who said that? Day. Did you punch them? I don't know you're too like old it. for that now. <laughs> Very dare you. I'm too tired for that now. <laughs> right, what I before am. we go any further, yes. I have to go and do bundles. What are okay. you going to do next? So I'm just continuing with the next round. So again, looking at where I started, I've got those two seams. So this is where my next strip goes. Right. So I'm going to go pale pink yeah. here and here, and then the darkest okay. purple. So if I leave you to sew that, I'm going to go here. over yes. and do the bundles. We won't, you won't miss anything. She won't do any trimming or anything without us. I've just got to take the, the rulers. Right. Bundles, which mine did. Modern mustard, which is the one hanging on the wall, the one Lucy's already made. Seven metres of fabric, you get a metre of each colour. Like, again, now, you see, as you can see, Lucy's used the purple for here and here. You can do whichever you want. It might look a bit odd, I suppose, if you did the purple there, though. But you know what I mean? It's up to you where you use the different fabrics. You get a metre of everything, plus the thread, plus the uh, instructions. 55 pounds and do you know what? That's seven meters of fabric for 55 pounds, 99 pence. That's good at full stop. Then you get thread and you get Lucy's expertise as well. She must have copied it from somewhere, I imagine, but. <laughs> She's pulling faces at me. I love this one. The one Lucy's doing now, the Mary Berry, no. Not Mary Berry, what's it called? Very Berry, very Berry. Seven meters of fabric. Meter of each of the colours. Now traditional yellow in the middle. We've learnt that today. Either yellow or red in the olden days. And the instructions and the... Th Your instructions won't be quite as creased as these. Uh, 55 pounds and 99 pence. And then the last one, which is the nautical bundle, which is Hannah's favourite. Seven metres of fabric, again, get the blues and the greys and the indigos, but you also get that fabulous um, uh, Vienna orange in the middle there. That would be your central one in there. £55.99. and 99 pence. There is the thread as well with that one somewhere. It's over here. Kind of still. There you go. £55.99. and 99 pence. Now, I've got two rulers. The one that Lucy's using is this. This is the 6 and the 12-inch one. You can't really see with me standing behind it, can you? But that's the six and 12 inch one there, the one that Lucy, you see 24 99 and it's a godsend. Well, they're all godsends, aren't they really? Creative Grids, Rachel, the rulers, rulers. How many have you got now, Hannah? Yeah, yeah, she's got three already. Okay, and then we've got the smaller one if you want to do an eight inch bundle, eight inch um, block. But as Lucy said, this is good if you can do cushions with them, because you can make four, and then you'll make a 16-inch square um, cushion cover. 22.99. Okay, let's go back over and join Lucy then. I mean, I will just say, you can obviously can use that eight-inch one for quilts as well. Oh, yes, yes, just yes, yes. Smaller, smaller yeah. blocks. Yeah. But you'd have to make more, you have to make more blocks. If you're making a one for a particular size, for yeah. a double bed, for instance. Yeah. It's only been a year. Hint, hint. I know you're very busy. I'm very busy. I should really just do it myself, because I yes, know I could. Yes, you really should. I know I could yes, now. Yes, you could. The only thing I'd, I'd be more, I'd be most frightened of is I'd be fine doing the, the top. I'd be frightened of doing the quilting. Just get someone to do that. Yeah, I'll get someone to do it. <laughs> What's the matter, Hannah? No, no, I'll get to... I, I... I'll come round and help you with the quilt. Oh, will you? Yes. What, stay for three weeks while we do it? Yes. <laughs> oh, which, room, which bedroom do you want? I don't know. There's no Christmas bedroom. I might switch around. 
Oh, yeah. When... I'm actually a week in one. A week. That's fine. When Jilly, when I went on my holidays, my friend Jilly moved in and I made all the beds up and she chose, she just, Aww. in the, the two weeks she was there, she just moved around. Yeah, moved around. I would do, that's what I would do. Just enjoy it all. Yeah. <laughs> it depends where you want the sun in the morning, doesn't it, really? If you want to press that. I don't want the sun in the morning. Don't, oh, well, in that case, you have to have in the Indian morning. princess I don't want bedroom. anything in the morning. So I'm just pressing all the seams I'm pressing out um, from that central square. OK. Oh, are they coming to you or not? I don't know. There you go. So all the seams are going out. Yes. Oh, that looks gorgeous, those colours. Wasn't sure what you were looking at. Do what, sorry? <laughs> Wasn't sure what you were looking at to look at you. Well, what else to look at that's gorgeous? <laughs> Apart from you, of yeah, course, well, yeah. Mrs Brennan. Of course, thank you. <laughs> there we go. So final. Hold it up, hold it up. I want to. Oh, some... I've not trimmed it yet. No, no, no. All oh, right. Not... <gasps> they do look lovely, don't, don't they? Don't they look gorgeous? Just go to the they further away one again, Mike. Look. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, now, I don't know if you can say that. Hannah likes it don't more than you want on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, so this is going to be, just to show you, that will be that section there. Ooh. So that on repeat, and then you'd have the right. pink in the centre. Let's do the final trimming. Yes, so we final that. trimming. So again, just to show you if, you, if you're looking at it and you're a bit confused. I can, eh? If you, if you, which is, e you know, mm. that's easily done. Um, if you just move it around on the squares, so the square in the square, you'll see, well, if I put it there, I'm going to cut off everything I've just sewn. Yeah. You know, if I put it, that would be ridiculous. So then you just want to find So this one, one is the final, final cut, That's isn't the it? final, final one. And then you'd want to move your, you know, position your seam so they're in the right place, which I've used too big of a seam, but, and then you just go ahead yeah. and cut. And then you know they're all going to be exactly the same. Oh, got a question from Mandy now. She's showing off about her bed. Can you tell me how easy it would be to extend to a king size? It's very easy. What would you, you just do need then to, to add, make it bigger? You just add, add more blocks. So it depends whether you want to repeat the pattern. I was going to say, what would you do? So I would, I like this. Yes, framing this. So, yes. <laughs> Framing this central cross. Yeah. So I might repeat that. Just do that again. Yeah. Alternatively, I might do th have these blocks go all the way around. Right. And then have these blocks as another frame. By all another the way bundle, around. Then. Do you see what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Yes. Because the reason I made it this size was because that's what I made with the fabric. Right. Bundle. Are you with yes. me? So if you wanted to, if you want a king size, and you buy two bundles, and then it's up to you. So you, you could just would keep move going. that one up there and put some of the. Would you put two of these in there then? Yes. So you've got a whole purple going whole around purple like that. Purple going all the way around. And then another border going around there, all yeah. the purple, but with that one and that one and that one and that one, yeah. there and there and there and there. Or repeat. Oh, oh, here we go. Or repeat these borders and repeat those borders. Because it's tricky to get the purple. You'd have th you'd have to do one that's got three purple in the corner. Yes. Quilters all know what I mean. Because you can't have that. Won't go round. What are you so saying? You, I don't know what you mean. You'd have to have three and then re and then repeat. It. Yes. Um, alternatively, you can keep it as it is and just add other. Well, no. What you could do borders. is you could do exactly the same here, and yes. that's your husband's cross there and your cross here. Yes, you could. Couldn't you? Yes, you could. You have to make it a bit longer though, because your feet wouldn't. A bit longer, his feet yeah. would be sticking out the bottom, wouldn't they? Yeah. So that's what my husband's always saying: make it, make them bigger, make them bigger. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's too tall. And that's your finished block. Then. And that's your finished oh, block. So those then, colours are divine. That um, is a. Oh, it didn't work. It's a finished. 12 inch, so that's 12 and a so half. So, this is if you do the competition, if you do the competition, this is the size we want you to send yes. in. So, it's, so this is 12 and a half inches, right? Now, that's a 12 and a half inch square, but when you put sew them together, it becomes a 12 inch block. Talk about the competition more in a minute, but just yeah. thought it was like, you know. So, that's your log cabin. It um, looks bigger, it looks bigger off here than it does on there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does it? when they're sewn together. I know it does. It's funny, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, so now we do a courtyard, courthouse. So we can do um, a courthouse steps. Right. So I'm starting off with the same, I was thinking I could do a smaller one. What, so we'll just go, I'll go no. with the bigger, because yeah, I've cut out, it's two ways full otherwise. 
Um, but you, it's the We've same. We've got about 15 minutes. Yeah, it's right. the same thing. You're just using these squares if you're using the so six if, inch. If you're doing, so if you're doing the six inch one, it's exactly yeah. the same. Just pass me a piece of your fabric, if you don't mind. No, 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 it's, the, it's still the same ruler. Yeah. It's the same ruler, but you use the other corner and you start off because uh, um, well, there's four squares on that side. No, it's that one. One, two, three. three. Yeah, oh, the three, yes, okay. Oh, hang on, one, two, three. Uh, if you look, the thing's all on there. But basically, yeah. this is your six inch finished size there. But, you, but, but, but again, the way you trim it is you do those two sides, don't you, Lucy? Like that, yeah. you do that side and that side, yeah. then you turn it round, because you're thinking, how am yeah. I going to get to this bit? I think there's more squares on this one, because I think there's more rounds for the on six On a six inch. inch one. I think so, yeah, yeah if I'm right. Yeah, so you've got the four yeah, squares. you've got more rounds. Anyway, 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 anyway that's, uh, let's do some court ha yeah. house steps. And I will say, I've had um, messages from people who've got this rule, who've bought this ruler, you know, and said how easy it is and how much more accurate your blocks are. Because if you're not using a ruler, it's very, very easy for your seams to get distorted. And like you... yours have. No, that, that was just because my seam allowance wasn't right. But see how straight, even looking at it, they're very, very yes, straight. Yes. Whereas when you're just sewing them as is, it's very easy when you're pressing and because you're not trimming them no, as, you go, no. as you go along, it's very, very easy for these edges to become distorted, which means that these lines aren't straight. So using this tool makes a huge difference to the final appearance, appearance of, of, your, of your block. John, uh, Lucy, Mr. Bit, how many blocks to make a double? Is there enough fabric in a bundle? Oh, we just said that, Teresa. There's only enough in the bundle to make that size, which is 48 by 48, but... Having said that, the backing is made of the fabric as well, but you won't have any purple left over. Yeah. So if you want to make it bigger, you need to buy two bundles. That's yeah. right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You can make it a bit bigger if you use the fabric off the back, on the on the front, but, but, but you wouldn't have any more purple. purple so no. you would need you might have a tiny bit, but not enough to do more hot full blocks yes. to do the yeah. columns, if you if that makes sense. Would it look odd if you just did a wide border on it? Plain, you know, like how no, you do... just do board. You so can that's just your do feature, borders. and then you could make it big. Or you board. could even make them the same width of strips. You know, yes, so yeah. it would look, you know, it would sort of tie in more if you did thinner strips. I think. I wonder what it would look like if you made six-inch ones to go around the outside. Would that work? Would it look a bit odd? No. Yes, it would look lovely. What I will say is, in the bundles, if you look on the website, it does list all the fabrics that are in the bundle. So if you're looking at the bundle and you know you want to make this quilt bigger, but you want more purple, just get some more of that purple. Oh yes, that's a good idea. That's and a good put idea. that in. When yeah. your fabric arrives as well, I don't know if you've got any in a bag here, it arrives in its a little bag with the Ziploc top with a sticker on it with the code of the fabric on it. So if you make a note of that's the purple one, that's the pink one, you can then think, oh, I need more of the purple. You can just order the purple from our website straight away. And knowing, because you've got the code, you'll know you're getting the right one. Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes yeah. the pictures on the web are a little bit off, aren't they? You know what I mean? And everybody's monitor's different, yes. aren't they? Could you pass what me would that you square like? ruler? Just, I didn't want to do like a jumping leap. <laughs> do we what? <laughs> right, so leap. now we're doing courthouse steps. So yeah. we're doing courthouse steps. So that um, central square is three and a half inches. So it's exactly the same as the square in the centre of the log cabin? Yes, Yes. exactly the same. So I know I'm going to add a strip to either side, so I'm just going to cut it. All right, me. so you're starting with a different colour on this one, then. Well, I'm just making it up now, because I'm oh, okay, really okay, paying, okay, okay. Yeah. But I'm not paying as much attention. So, um, just to show you how to do it. So, I'm mm -hmm. just going to sew, whichever colour I'm doing, I'm going to sew that to either side. Did you not hear that? No. <laughs> so... I heard it in my earpiece, that they dropped something. I also heard it up there. <laughs> I heard it up there. <laughs> What, it dropped up there? She's thrown something to the floor. She's oh in my the temper gosh. tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, so you can see how this is different because I'm not adding it. Um, if it was a log cabin, I'd be adding it here, yes. but I'm adding it to the Oh, okay, OK, 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 OK. So okay. we have to concentrate. So it's the same measurements, but you're just sewing them in a different order. Yes. Exactly. So, let me see if that's going to be that We've got 10 one. minutes, there's no rush, don't we? Okay. Um, I might make this... 
Poo. So where where is this on on here? Can I just go here? This would oh, be this here. Is here. Here, here. That's, That's here. there. But I'm so just two, using because yeah. I'd already cut the central. So you've got squares, two so. more colours to go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. The yellow. Oh no, I haven't cut strips. I'm just making it up. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah, be yeah. yellow. Yeah. Wouldn't it? You can decide. You can make it up as you. Oh as you yes, yes, yes. Maybe I'll so use what you're saying there. is, sorry, I'm going back yes. over here. Sorry. Yes. So if we're doing it, this, this, if we've chosen that middle square to be yellow, yeah. then that one will be yellow. That one will be yellow. That one will be yellow. That one will be yellow all the way down, which is why yes. you've used. So you've used purple in this one, and we'd be using the yellow in we'll here. So really, the yellow. that would be a yellow strip, and that would be. And a really, strip. this one would be the purple. Yeah. Okay. I've just. Mixed, yeah, no, no, that's I'm fine. Just mixing it up to throw everybody off. Yes. <laughs> But I'm just using what, I've got, what yes. I've got here to make it a bit easier. But can we cut, the, can we do, use that ruler to do courthouse steps as well then? Yes. Yep. So uh, Lanka did the first round of the log cabins. This is the first round of the courthouse steps. Right. But that means it's even better value for money. Yes. Because a lot of the, excuse me, a lot of the rulers mm -hmm. are for one block, aren't they? Different yes. sizes of one block. Whereas this, yes. you can not only do the courthouse steps, but you can also do the log cabin from yeah. one ruler. So the eight inch one, you've got two different blocks. That, and actually, having said that, you can also make quarter, sorry, half log cabins there. So with the eight inch one, you've got three blocks you can make. Oh yes, of course. With the um, 12 and a half inch one, you've got six different blocks you can make. Yeah. And you could do your own whole variations using different fabric placements. Do you see what of I mean? Course. So you've got those three different arrangements, three different pieced blocks, and within that you can create lots of different yes. effects. So it's it's three at twelve and a half, three at six and a half, finish twelve and six, but then lots of variety within that as well. So it is really good value. Okay, and then one more, that will be my last round. Oh, Carol, Carol, the message hasn't come through. She said, thank you for a fabulous show. She's addicted to the sewing quarter. Thank Lovely. you, Carol. Thank you. And I was gonna say, this is a great one for people that don't like um, measuring. Yes. Because you don't have to, it's only that central square. Really, that, about you this one, to, that you need to measure. Because he thinks he's six foot tall. You <laughs> there we go. So give that okay. a press. Oh, yeah. And again, I'm just pressing away from the square, so all my seams are going out from that um, central square. And it's still important with this that you're not uh, ironing yeah, like, you're just you know, pressing like it, that. You're just pressing it. Right. Okay. So now. So now we're going to match that Oh, up. it's exactly the same it's exactly then. It's exactly the same. The same. It's exactly Trimming the same. wise, it's just that you've sewn, <coughs> excuse me, sewn them in a different order. Yeah. Oh, I see. I was thinking, I've got no idea where Cortez Steps is on there. No, that's it. It's in, in exactly uh, the same place. And I've just remembered what that one's for. Mm. When you cut your central square out, I'll just trim this first and then I'll show you. What do you love trimming about? Well, I was confused about why, why that square was there, which may be what some people are confused about when they first look yes. at this ruler. And I've just realised that it's so you can check your, you know, you've got your seam allowance there. Oh, so if yes, you did want yes, to yes, fussy yes. cut something from the set for the centre, you can then see where that square is going to look. <laughs> Unless like, it's yellow. Like it? you know. Yeah. Well, I do now. You, you do now. Me. You do now. Teresa says, John and Lucy, I love this quilt. And I love John explaining the details for beginner quilters like me. Well, no, but you're a brilliant teacher anyway, so it's no, fine. Right, go on, you. next colour. Okay, so... Oh, no, now you stay with the same colours So now, I would stay you? with the same colours, yeah. If I'm following the pattern, that's... Oh, although it wouldn't be these colours, but that's what I would do stay with the same colours. So we're just building up, so that's the first round. So you don't count the, the so square, the you just, one, you know, yeah. so that's the first round, and then we're gonna go on to the second round. It's gonna ask a question, that's it's like gone completely my, um, out of my brain. You know, Fred, uh, Fred started beatboxing. Oh yes. 
So that kind of a noise is what I have to listen to. Oh, I do apologise. All day. This clicking, this clicking. Oh, no, it drives me crazy. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it actually does. I've had to tell him to stop. Oh, and then that goes, could have been that could have made his first opinion. <laughs> my, my, I didn't make the first opinion because my mum stopped me from, <laughs> what's it called, clicking. <laughs> That's it. That's all you can hear is me going, stop clicking, stop clicking. Oh. He's good when he actually does it. But yeah, he's got to practice. It's, that's what he says. It's all and the noises. And then I have encouraged him because I got him a little voice recorder. For, we got him a little voice recorder Father for Christmas. Christmas. Oh, Father Christmas, would you? Yeah. No, that's what we got. Oh, that's okay. what we got. Him. Blimey, they get presents from you and from Father Christmas. Yeah, one, one from each. Oh, blimey. One from each. So I'm just going to... What are you doing use... now? I just want to oh, just cut, in cut yeah. off those. You can use the scissors or you can use the um, mm. rotary cutter. I'm not very Jumping accurate. Jumping all over the, the place today. I'm not very you? accurate with the scissors. No, I'm not. That makes sense. Jacqueline says from Leicester Hi, both. Love the demo. I bought this grid before Christmas and got totally messed up. Oh. The penny has now dropped. Yay, good. That's what it's all about, good. Jacqueline. Thank I think you. it is. I will say, I do think this one's slightly different from the other creative grids. And a lot of times you're sewing a bit, cutting a bit, sewing a bit, cutting a bit, and this you're not. So it's just being aware of doing the rounds and then cutting, round yeah. and then cutting. And um, obviously log cabin, you are going around and the courthouse steps you're doing either side. So I can cut both of these at once to make no. it quicker. Yes, I can. Yeah, so how many minutes have we got left with Lucy? Three minutes with Lucy. Okay, well, I'll do this. See how far I can get. But it's when you start rushing that you... Make mistakes. Make mistakes. OK, half the stock of the larger size ruler has been checked out. Just you know, 24 99 And we've got a lot and half of them have gone. Put it upside down. Don't it. So, any there are lots of variations on log cabin um, quilts and different designs. So any, it's not even like you're just the, making this pattern. There are, you know, there are endless possibilities with this um, trim tool, which is why I like it so much. If you were to just do all log cabins. Yeah. Okay, log cabins. Just log cabins on their own yes. can create lots and lots and lots of different patterns, depending on how you how you um, lay the or, place. Yeah, them. orient them. So you can get zigzags. Because what's thrown me is that one there. Why is that? Oh no, because that's not a log cabin. That's no, why, that's, that's courthouse right. steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you you um, Traditionally, would always have one side be one colour and one be the other. So it would normally be this might all be lighter and this might be darker. Yeah. And then you get lots of different, um, you know, create lots of different uh, patterns with yeah. it. One minute left with Lucy. If I was going to only ever make one quilt block for the rest of my life, it would be this. Oh, would it? Yeah, well, log just... cabin or caught her steps or a mixture of the two? Yeah, well, I'd be able to do the two, wouldn't yeah. I? But this would be... Because you can do so much with it, yeah. this would oh, be what I would create, choose. You can yeah. use the same yeah. block, but make four or five, six, you, seven, yeah, eight If you only quilts. ever got one thing, if you only got one thing, you could get this, and every quilt you make would look different. Oh, wow. So, that's why I love it. So, again, just lining up the seams, putting your square in the <coughs> centre. You can use these lines as well, just to check that everything's as it should be. Yeah. And then go ahead and trim. I also like it because there's not a whole lot of preparation in that all you need to cut are strips of yes. fabric. And like you said, if you wanted to use um, a design rolls, roll. you could, you could do that. Apart from the centre then... square, you could do it all from a design roll, couldn't you? Yeah. Now, are there some log cabins where they get wider, or is it always the same width all the way around, or does that become uh, something else completely? Traditionally, it would always be um, the same width. You're, right. You, uh, you can vary the centre as well if you wanted to, yeah. but traditionally you would have the square and then they would all be the width. But yes, you can vary it. You can make wonky 
ones. You could even use this to trim. You know, I could trim this now like that. Oh, yes. We won't go there now because we're running out of time. No. Well, uh, we'll do a wonky one another day, <laughs> shall we? Yeah. Uh, you're back tomorrow, aren't you? I am. So I'll see you yes. tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Right. Oh, I haven't brought the rulers with me. Pass me the rulers over. Bundles. Do check out on your rulers. Lucy's just passing them back to me now. Thank you very much. Right. Mustard mash. Ooh. Modern mustard. But I was thinking about mustard mash then. I love mashed potato with a bit of mustard in it. Uh, anyway, seven metres of fabric. I think that's really good. You know, forget everything else. Seven metres of gorgeous fabric like that for £55.99, I think is brilliant. So you get seven metres of fabric, you get the thread, and you get Lucy's expertise and instructions. Oh, you can't see that. Uh, fabulous. Most popular is the uh, very berry one, which we've just seen looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, you've got seven metres of fabric. Lovely, beautiful colours. Isn't it funny? Because you wouldn't think that that yellow would work in the centre, would you? But it looks beautiful, doesn't it? OK, now, if you're watching later on on the repeat, what time is it? 5 to 12, there are less than 20 of these bundles left. OK, and last but not least is the nautical but nice. Oh, Hannah might have changed her mind. She doesn't know which one her favourite is now. Well, this was your favourite all through the show, and now you're liking the, the Mary Berry one. So uh, this one, you get the nautical, nicely nautical. Not... I don't know what she's talking about. She's talking about putting the red in the middle. There's no red in there, Hannah. So uh, all of those seven metres, plus the thread, plus the instructions, £55.99. Have we got time to do the rulers? This is the 12 and the 6 inch ruler here. I oh, know, oh, hang on. There we go. Oh, come on job, one job. You don't get the fabric with it. Creator grids, non-slip, log cabin, trim tool, 6 and 12. Please check out your baskets, please check out your baskets. We had loads and they're flying out. And then this is the 8 inch one. £22.99. Right, now don't forget, tomorrow, to, uh, not tomorrow, 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 um, there's a competition. Competition, go to the website to read the terms and conditions. But basically, we're asking you to make a 12-inch block finish, 12 and a half inch. You won't get it back. It's for our birthday celebration. It needs to be in by the 20th. So many of you messaging in saying you're starting it already. Um, we can't send it back to you, though, because it will be going into a quilt. But, and there are prizes for the top, I think it's either three or four. But all the terms and conditions are on the website. Tomorrow's a menu is here. 8am quilting books and tools, that'll be me. Then Rosie wall hanging, that's Lucy. Then at 10 o'clock, it's still the time, that'll be me. And then a little book, of, I thought that said a little book of disappointment then. A little book of patchwork from Lucy Brennan. Um, thanks ever so much for your company today. Uh, and um, we'll both see you. What are you wearing tomorrow? What colour are you wearing tomorrow? I you get, do you get a lie in? You're not doing the early show. Well, don't come in and chatter like you did today. Oh, I'm only bantering. I'm only bantering. We love each other, really. Uh, thanks ever so much for your company today. Make sure you check out your baskets. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. A new year brings lots more new treats on Sewing Quarter. We can't wait to reveal what we have in store for 2018 with so many exciting guests and projects and with wonderful new fabrics that we'll have on our shows. You can look forward to a fantastic year of inspiration. We love working with our sister sewing and quilting magazines, transforming the stunning designs into kits and demonstrating techniques for you to learn. We'll have more adorable softies from designers including Joe Carter, Mandy Shaw and Lucy Brennan and dressmaking stars of the Great British Sewing Bee. We're also thrilled to welcome Tula Pink into the Sewing Quarter family in 2018 with her iconic fabrics from America. You'll love the new choice of vibrant colours and bold prints. We can't wait to share the new year with you, filled with fabric and sewing goodies. 
So tune in daily from 8 a.m. to 12 noon on Freeview 78 and shop online at sewingquarter.com. <laughs>